Right, Deep Fry? That's kind of my thought. Okay. I think we're ready to go here. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, let's get this show on the road. Greetings, everybody. I am Resplendent Seraph, and today we are going to be finishing Earthbound. Yes, I had to run downstairs. And of course, once I did that, my cat was like, oh, it's time for dinner, right? And I'm like, oh, really? We're going to do this right now, Cleo? I just... I just hit the streaming button. <laughs> so I was worried I was going to get up here uh, a little late, but I made it back just in time. She's now ha she's now happy. She's getting her wet food. Uh, they have coconut Dr. Pepper. I That could either be really amazing or that could be awful, but I have to know now. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep an eye open for that. Yeah, coconut Dr. Pepper sounds awesome. Greetings. Sorry, I was a few minutes late. I was helping out um, a member of my community with some mod help with Fallout. So, uh, but I think we've I think we figured out the reason why that wasn't working. I I love <laughs> I love Fallout Four, but my goodness, getting mods to work with that game is such an adventure sometimes. <laughs> and I'm glad I'm not the only one who has moments of <sighs> why isn't that working? <laughs> but thankfully, we've uh, we've sort of figured it out. Yes, the first sip always is the best one. Especially if you've gone without soda for a really long time. Um, and I'm the type where I like it, but I don't like need it, need it. And so there are times where if, especially I only get it if it's two for one. If it's not that for me, it's, it's just way too expensive. And so I've gone periods where I think it was like three or four months or something like that where I just didn't have any. And it was like, then I see it on sale. I'm like, oh, all right, it's time for that again. And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot how good I, I forgot how good this is. And so, yeah, perfect. All right, so now that Seraph is hydrated, we're ready to go. Yes, we're going to finish off. It's such a bittersweet feeling, Deep Fry, of like, yes, on one hand, I love this game, but there is the bittersweet of, oh, it's, it's going to be over soon. And, um... And for my my Mount Rushmore of games, that's how I feel when I start closing in on the end of them. Uh, I really feel this when it's when it's time to get near the end of Persona Five. <sighs> Persona Five. At some point, I will play that live on stream, but I have to be ready. I have to mentally prepare myself for the Akumara fight. Um, it's the only spoiler I'll give away for that game, and I'm definitely not giving. I'm not going to talk about that when I actually do the stream of that because there might be people that hop in just for that game and, and all that. But there is a, um, that, that, that fight is, is, is awful <laughs> for as great as that game is. That fight is terrible. But once I get ready mentally, be like, okay, I can handle, I can handle that fight again. I'm like, all right, now I can play persona five and go through it and just totally lose myself in it. It's going to be great. Maybe I'll do that for uh December when, um, when I have a nice break, that might be, that might be what we do. I might just take a good week off at work and we might just stream Persona 5 and just binge it like hell. That might be that might be a lot of fun. But today we're going to be finishing up Earthbound. And so, yeah, I'm going through that mix of emotions of this has been a really fun ride and it's one of my favorite games ever. And once we beat it, it's going to be all right. Well, it's going to be a while before we play that again. And uh, and at some point I'll play through this again. But this has probably been the biggest break since playing it that I've had in a, in a really long time. Because I think the last time I played this before my console crapped out was um, 2013. So it's been like 11 years. So I, I've never gone that long between playing Earthbound. I, I won't go that long again, I don't think. But anyway, let's get this started as, uh, as people continue to fill in here. I've also tweaked my audio settings. So, oh, that's a sneeze. That was an unfortunately timed sneeze. <laughs> Good grief. Um, okay. Wow, that was that was painful. Ow. Oh, because I just fed the cat and petted her. Oh, and then I touched my face. That was that's why. <laughs> Genius, Sarah. Okay, let's 
itch that with that. So getting on with things, I was saying, just saying, I have tweaked the audio settings so that the game audio is now a little bit louder, but I have now configured my uh, streaming setup to automatically lower the volume on my game audio if I'm talking. And so that will allow me to raise the game audio most of the time. <laughs> At that time, sorry, right? But as you can see, now that I'm talking, okay, good. And that looks like it's lowering it um, enough. Although maybe I need to tight. Maybe I need to. Um, maybe I need to be a little more aggressive with how much the game audio turns down automatically. It might still be washing me out a little. Maybe I'll just. Uh, maybe I'll just turn it back down. But this should be all right. And so I'm gonna experiment with that. But if the uh, game audio is still washing me out a little bit. Just let me know so I know to test that, but I'm just looking at, just eyeballing the levels. It should be okay. Um, those, my, my levels look good. Um, but again, I don't really, I won't really know. Just because, at least until I give it a re-listen to. But you guys listening live will be able to tell me pretty much immediately whether or not the game audio is still too loud or not. Um, perfect. Hey, Freakbot, how are you? Awesome. Yeah, I have it, I have it set to automatically, uh, I, I, I don't know if you just hopped in, but yeah, this is an experiment. And so, yeah, cool. Excellent. Good, good, good. So let's continue. And we're going to fire up the remainder of Earthbound here. We're in Magikant. And so, hey, cat. How is my asshole? Hello. Are you a good girl? What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> let's take a look at our goods here. Okay. So we've got three bags of Dragonite. We're going to need that. I'll definitely want to buy some magic pudding. Maybe I'll buy a little bit more of that. So let's let's give Tracy. So uh, you know what we're gonna give Tracy magic pudding and psy caramel. And you know what we're gonna you know what? we'll probably just keep on those bags of Dragonite because we're gonna need them. But we'll give her the psy caramel. I started playing the original Far Cry the other day. Oh man, that brings back memories. <laughs> I never did beat that game. Let's see, let's take a look. Yes, store. That game's, gra the, ga the graphics of that game were so far ahead of its time. Wanted to give her side caramel. Yep, let's just give you one magic pudding. Uh, nope, we're good. That's fine. Good, we have enough money. I'm at level 12 and I can see why. It's very tough. Yeah, yeah, that game is that game is not for the faint of heart. Uh, and as you stood on the eight power spots of the earth, from here these, you've created Magikant, the realm of your mind. In Magikant, there's beauty, kindness, sorrow, and hatred. Of course, there's an evil and violent side of you. The Sea of Eden sits at the center of these feelings. It takes you to the truth about yourself. And what I really like is every time you talk to one of the residents of Magikant, the color of the town changes. It's just awesome. I love this region. I would indeed like to buy some. Let's buy magic pudding. Let's buy one more magic pudding. Oh, I'm one shy. Shit, I need the ATM. The ATM should be over here. Yeah, pretty much what I want to do is just buy a bunch of magic pudding. Yep, more money than I know what to do with. Except I'm hitting the button too fast. We'll just do that. Aha. Perfect. Now we'll go back, buy more magic pudding. We'll give Tracy all of the magic pudding. <laughs> That'll be the plan there. I think I'm now full. Nope, I can do one more. Main problem is this is the only place you could buy the magic pudding. And so, um, nope, that's it. So we'll give Tracy three of them. I don't think we really need to use magic pudding here, but we're going to really be glad we have that later on in the game. Yep, store, magic pudding. 
I'll keep one of them. Just to have them, but... Nope. Check out. Uh... Don't think we need any of that stuff. Yeah, give me a bag of Dragonite back. We should be good to go now. We've got the ultimate bat. We're at some point going to get the magic and bat. And we've got an earth pendant. We'll have a better, we'll have better pendants later. So I don't need to buy a bunch of earth pendants now. We got three bags of Dragonite. That will help things out. We've got one magic pudding just in case we run really low on Psy points. We're good to go there. And I think this generate recovers like, oh, okay, it's 40, not 80. But yeah, it's fine. But still, better than Psy caramels. Uh, try if you want to see gaming history. I think it's on sale for Steam under five bucks most of the time. Uh, beat was Blood Drag. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, I mean, I got Far Cry 6 when I bought, uh, my latest AMD processor. But, it was, um... It was not great. <laughs> like, it, it, the production value on it seemed nice, and it was weird to see, um... Giancarlo... Um, getting the actor's name. The guy that plays the, um, the guy from Breaking Bad and, um, Better Call Saul and, oh my god, oh my goodness, I'm totally blanking on his name. Giancarlo, Giancarlo. Well, anyway, but it was cool to see him in it, but I don't know, it was just really hard to get into that game. Um, and I just, just couldn't do it. One of these days, I'll have to try again, though. All right, so we've talked to all these people here. Man, long time no see, Ness. And uh, at this point, I think we're good to go to try to make our way through here status. Let's just make sure everything's good. Yep, perfect. We are good to go. Of course, there's Pokey. Let's go get another flying man. We're going to get them killed, but so it goes. I'll be your courage. I'll remain unless you lose your courage. Call me flying man, too. And we only have a limited number of these. Flying men are awesome. It just sucks that they're so squishy. The Sea of Eden is filled with ultimate intelligence. You can't go there unless you're truly ready. It's a place where you can touch the truth of the universe. Going there may bring sorrow. Alright, here we go. Uh, no, this way. Nope, I was right the first time. And then this twirls around. Oh, we're actually getting... The second I said we're actually getting pretty far without a bot, without an enemy attacking us. Come on, let's try and warp it off the screen. Let's see if we can get through this. Okay, yeah, alright, fine. <laughs> Fun fact is the Japanese Weston Ness is naked. Oh my goodness. Uh, that is random. <laughs> Which is really funny considering how... um conservative ja uh, Japan is about a lot of stuff. So that's that's definitely interesting that um, Ness would be naked in that version. Ah, oh, high class UFO dodged. Oh my goodness, we're just missing like crazy. Yeah, whatever, we're not using psychic attacks against you. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> you are very, very, very dead. That's the type of uh, battle we want, where we get a lot of XP and they don't hit us once. Sure, we'll take a side caramel. Earthbound! Hey, ghosty, how are you, my friend? This is probably a, um... Oh, it's not what I was thinking. That hurts just looking at that. <laughs> right? The French kiss of death. <laughs> I have to admit, I did not know what a French kiss was when I first played this game. <laughs> Nice shot, flying man. Oh, no, no. Good, okay, yeah. Do that on the flying man. There we go. We're moving right along. Yes, lots of XP. Hey, Operator Mudhorn. How are you, my friend? Good to see you again. Ooh, we got a horn of life. That was awesome. That's a fairly rare drop. Okay, that's not an enemy. There we go. Okay, well, shit. Fine. Whatever. 
We'll take the magic and bat, because that's way better. We knew it was going to be here. So, I mean, theoretically, I could go back and try to... Ca oh, wow, they've got a bunch of them here. Fuck. <laughs> so we could go... Yeah, yeah. I mean, in a way, it kind of sucks to get a lucky drop for a Horn of Life. I mean, granted, a Horn of Life is pretty awesome, but I would much rather have had, oh, I don't know, the Sword of Kings or the Gutsy Bat or something like that. But yeah, it's it's pretty nice. I didn't, I didn't know if it was one of the 128 drops, but yeah, I'm like, oh, that's a pretty rare drop. <laughs> so these molecules are pretty easy because they can't concentrate yet. So we should be able to make pretty quick work of them. The problem is... And that's why it didn't work very well. Once they concentrate, then they could use their psychic attacks. So when they're in groups of things, we could sometimes get away with going after what they're with because the molecules can't do many things. But if you wait, then their psychic attacks can actually work and they could really put a hurting on you. A real hurting. And so, yeah, sometimes it's... Okay, all right. I was hoping it would teleport again. It just didn't work out that way. We should have enough time to kill all these things before they can concentrate. I have done a full ultimate weapon run before. I bet you were... <laughs> so you were level 99. <laughs> With the amount of uh, farming that must entail. The issues you get to level 9... Right, right, yeah. That is exactly a problem. So one thing you could do... Uh, for anybody farming a bunch of special weapons, and again, keeping it a little vague because we don't want to necessarily quote, quote spoil anything. But um, what you could do is go through this part. Of, you can go through Magican, and then once you uh, once you get out of Magican, you can go back to a bunch of previous levels. Of course, you can't do that with the Stonehenge base because the Starman Supers stop spawning after that. So you have to get the Sword of Kings before you come to Magican. Yep. And so, yeah, you gotta have to be a little judicious about it. But we could go back to Fire Spring for Jeff's ultimate weapon. We could go back to the Lost Underworld for Paula's ultimate weapon. Although I don't think there's really that much of a difference between the Magic Fry Pan and the Holy Fry Pan. Not that I've ever gotten the Magic Fry Pan. But I really don't think it's all that different. Let's see. Okay, well, we definitely want that. We'll want that Magic Tart. Ooh, do I just throw the ultimate bat away? I mean, it wouldn't be nice to save money for it, but... Yeah, alright, fine. That hurts, because we could have sold it, but... That's alright. The Magic Tart... Covers about 20. Oh, well... I thought it was an 80. Shit. I probably would have rather had the money from selling that, but oh well. Alright, fine. We'll just keep it anyway. It's not like we could have used the Ultimate Bat for anything else now anyway. I thought I could get the surprise attack on it. Ow. I hope so. That would be really cool. Now, mind you, the Gutsy Bat cannot be acquired in Magican. That was something I thought because I had the original version of the game that comes with that Player's Guide book, that gigantic book. And um, in there, they said you get the Gutsy Bat off of the Kraken in the Sea of Eden. They were wrong. They were effing wrong. Do you know many times I would go through the Sea of Eden, try and get the Gutsy Bat, not get it, and reset the game because you can't go out and come back because they don't respawn? I did that a lot, Nintendo Power. I did that a lot as a kid. <laughs> it was super lame. But it's actually the Bionic Kraken much later in the um, last area of the game that has the gutsy bat. You did, but just for the sake of chat, refresh my memory. I also, I'm, I'm trying to remember. If you gave me like five or ten minutes, I would remember. But obviously nobody in chat knows that story. Um, they just wanted to extend your game time. Right, right. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going after the carefree bomb. This, this little bastard throws bombs. Yeah. Oh, no, don't do damage to the flying man. I'd rather they hit me than the flying man, because I can't heal the flying man. I said, said frying man instead of the flying man. Shit. Come on. Let's get this guy. Good, okay. We've got that little bastard. And now it could probably concentrate after one more. 
All right, Dragon Quest when they swap the two towns, right? Oh, goodness gracious. That, I can't even imagine. Like, I would rage quit RPGs after that for sure. <laughs> going all that way and it's not even there. But yeah, same thing. Yeah, I end up going to the wrong town, looking to buy keys and end up getting bodied by level 17 and up monsters. It's terrible. Yeah, a misprint can absolutely ruin a player's experience, for sure. There we are. Hey, my allergies now drive me completely crazy. Ooh. I had an allergy fit at work yesterday, and apparently my whole face turned red. They were like, Seraph, what is wrong with you? Like, your whole face is red. I'm like, my whole face is red? Fuck. And I'm like, oh, probably should have said that. Sorry. <laughs> they were looking at me like, really? Really, Seraph? I'm like, it's F you. <laughs> we strive not to be too professional, right? <laughs> <laughs> they did not appreciate that. <laughs> That's all right. But yeah, no. Allergies are not fun. I guess something must be in bloom, too. It also does not help that I own a cat that I'm allergic to. And I'm constantly triggering my own allergies. Come on. There we go. Got it. Should be an auto kill here. Hey, say you, Paul Star. How are you, my friend? Ah, so we got first word of the coconut. Coconut Dr. Pepper has a weird aftertaste after an update. Ooh, I still think I want to try it, but that's unfortunate. Wow, so we managed to get here with a flying man. I've done this before, I think, but yeah, not very often you get this far with a flying man. I think I've even gotten to the boss of this area with a flying man. I think. I'm watching Clone Wars edit. I have heard Clone Wars is really, really good. I've actually not seen that, but I need to do that at some point. But how are you? I'm good, I, except for, you know, allergies. I've got, you know, sinuses swelling and uh, all that sort of fun stuff. But, you know, I'm actually like, the rest of me is pretty good. <laughs> We're, of course, getting into the end game of Earthbound. So I'm a little bittersweet about that. Um, let's see, how do I feel about this? Do we really, now? Nah, let's just bash the Kraken. And our flying man is doing a pretty good job. Good. Yeah, you keep doing that. Just don't do that fireball. That will kill our flying man for sure. Yeah. Okay, Franklin Badge. There goes the flying man. Right. I forgot to grab the flying Franklin Badge from Paula before I came here. I'm so stupid. <laughs> and I realized it. That's right. Last stream. We, we finish off fire, fire spring, and my first thought was, ah, oh, let's, the first thought of, once we started this sequence was, oh shit, I totally didn't grab the Franklin badge from Paula. Not the end of the world. More Kraken. I do, this is my, I think this is probably my favorite music of the game. Yep, we're immune to flash. We don't have to worry about that. Ooh, we dodged it. Nice. Oh, I thank you. I appreciate that. Yay! <laughs> I thank you. That's a... That's a hundred bits. You're my first bit donator, so I appreciate that. That's awesome stuff. <laughs> I need to set up some fun things you could do with Cheers. I still haven't quite done that yet. My, my affiliate status is still pretty new. But that is most appreciated. I haven't done that yet. Yeah, it, it, but it looks like it'd be fun to do. But I think I'll do some really fun sound effects with those. I just have to come up with some. I was thinking about, like, Cobra Commander. And there's one where he just has that. Oh, my goodness. Cobra Commander is, like, the best character of G.I. Joe. <laughs> I have never seen a villain talk smack 
like they do. I have no sub rewards. So at least I have some sub rewards, right? Um, I've got sub badges. Um, I mean, barely, right? But I mean, they technically exist, right? Um, that counts. That counts. Um, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to do. And there's just, and I was just trying to go through and I'm like, there's one where he's just like, I have nothing but idiots on my payroll. <laughs> and just the voice inflection he does is so flippin' funny. Oh, so much electric damage. Yeah, this is where the rolling hit point meter really helps out. All right, we're gonna do this one more time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I think we can kill it before it does that. Yep, come on, we got it. We got it. <laughs> eh, that's a that's a nice amount of XP left. Ah, we also gained another level. Sweet. Now we're gonna heal. And let's do a little bit of Yeah, let's just heal completely. And we're gonna get ready for this. Let me just make sure everything's set right right here while this ad plays. Um Let's see, I've got okay, so I've got two bags of Dragonite. We're going to probably use them in this battle. I theoretically could have used a bag of Dragonite on the on the Kraken, but I don't necessarily want to do that. Or I didn't want to do that because I'd rather have them for this because we obviously don't have Jeff for bolt bottle rockets or anything else like that. If I start needing to use Psy, I've got Magic Pudding I could do. Uh, Horn of Life is not going to be useful at this point because, well, I would need to have somebody else use it on me. Um, I think we're okay here. I mean, I could actually, I could just use, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just use this magic tart. Yeah. Wow. That was great. I'm so glad I tossed away my ultimate bat to have a magic tart and regain a whole whopping 13 freaking yay. My, although it does stream elements, not resplendent bot, but you know, that that's fine. At least, at least it finally did a, uh, did an announcement where it did it automatically. I've been trying to get that to work. So, okay, so part of it also, I I was tweaking with my uh, with my with, with stream elements to get my overlays working correctly. So I guess part of my troubleshooting for that finally got the actual announcement to work correctly. Although I think I need to reactivate um, just for my own amusement here. Um, uh, let me just see. Okay, so Resplendent Bot works for that. Hey, Kara, what's going on, buddy? I just smiled inadvertently. You... Damn it, Kara. Damn it. Shit. <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> Damn. Everybody, Kara Jitsu. Let's give him a warm welcome and applause. He gets me again. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> boom, headshot, boom, headshot, boom, yep, that, that definitely fits. Oh my goodness, you got me good on that one. That'll just teach me to smile at your appearance. That's like, smile if you... <sighs> Actually, that'd probably be a good clip as I read it now. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> I want to thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate it. Yeah, we was talking. I, 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 I was talking to somebody. I think it was Deadful. Yeah, it was Deadful. And he's like, hey, how much do you pay your mods? And I'm like, you guys are getting paid? He, he apparently pays his mods. I'm like, I don't make any money. Um, but you know what? If I start actually making money on this platform, I will definitely pay my mods and Ghosty because you guys are awesome. You're fantastic mods. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Negative reinforcement is how we progress our situation. <laughs> yeah, right. So you've been playing Sea of Thieves. Actually, I've been seeing a bunch of people playing Sea of Thieves. It must be a new season or uh, update or something, I'm guessing, right? Okay, let's do this without any further ado. I'm the evil part of your brain. <laughs> you you guys are getting paid? <laughs> that movie is so amazing. No no regrets? Not even a letter? <laughs> ah, new season. Okay, that explains why so many people are streaming. Um, we, get, we, get, we get paid in hand jobs. 
Yeah, that's not that's not a payment system I'll I'll be doing, but you know what? I don't kink shame anybody around here. <laughs> oh man, that that but but yeah, Polestar. That that movie's so awesome. Um uh, Meet the Millers. It took me a second to even think of the movie, right? I, it's so funny. I could think of the quote. I could probably have quoted half the movie but before I could actually remember what the title of the movie was. I'm the evil part of your brain. You can't beat me because you're the one who forced me into being. <laughs> you know, that's one of those philosophical questions that I don't know if we ever... <laughs> Do we really need an answer to that? But great, now my stupid brain is gonna be working away at that. So, so thanks, thanks, Kara. Thanks, Kara, for that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's make sure that there's no shield in place. Yeah, he could do rocking to you. Um, yeah, this Ness's nightmare is crazy. So this is the last time we'll fight the Manny Manny statue. Good. Okay, there's no bullshit uh, shield. He turned into a gigantic dragon. We did half a <laughs> half a thousand. Oh, uh, well, we still netted 200 damage there. We're going to do another bag of Dragonite. Just fuck this guy. That's going to hurt a lot. Maybe it just... Yes, it doesn't work. <laughs> I hate when that happens to me. When you do your ultimate attack, it just, like, doesn't work. Like, that's that sucks, man. But it's nice when they do it to you and it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, this is America. We're the only country willing to answer the tough questions. That's right. <laughs> Time to turn into a gigantic fire breathing dragon again. All right. Yeah, it only. Okay, check this out. We just used our last bag of Dragonite, and then it finally goes, I should probably raise a power shield. All right, now we'll do PSI to this fucker. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna do that one. We'll do this one because it only costs half as much. And it the upgrade damage between this and this is really not well, you know what? Yeah, because this way I can only do it four times. This way I can only do it twice. So yeah, we're going gamma here. Never mind, doesn't matter. <laughs> so yeah, that paid off to do all the bags of Dragonite. Uh, that was a good... That, and that's also why I was keeping those around for so long. And so now uh, the thing we were talking about earlier, now that kicks in and now everybody will see what uh what we mean by why you don't want to be level 99 at this point Ooh, pardon me. ness heard a familiar voice at the center of the sea of eden gigas's goal is to destroy you microphone microphone thank you listen carefully everything in the universe could be destroyed at the hands of gigas but he and his followers are also in trouble the Apple of Enlightenment has foretold that Gigas' attempt will fail. It is because of the existence of a boy named Ness. That's me. Listen, free your mind and know what you must do. Your destiny has already been decided. You, I, where should we go? You know deep within the reaches of your mind. Sa Sa Saturn, Saturn Valley, yes. Go to the valley where the Mr. Saturn live. You'll get something new there. Soon Magicant will be no more. You must be quick. Ness really heard his own voice. Go to Saturn Valley. Go to Saturn Valley now. <laughs> Usually starts around 7.30. Freakbot must be a little, uh, must be AFK. There we go. And now we start getting the power of the, uh, of the sanctuary locations. So Ness was filled with the power of the giant step. Ness's speed increased by five. Vitality increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Lilliput steps. Gut increased by five. Luck increased by five. And we get the power of the Milky Well. Ness's speed increased by five. IQ increased by five. Now we get the power of Maddening Hill. Vitality increased by five. Luck increased by five. Now we get the power of Rainy Circle. Guts increased by five again. IQ increases by five. We get the power of the pink cloud. Speed increases by five. Guts increases by five. Let's get Lumine Hole. Luck increased by five. IQ increased by five. And now we get the power of the fire spring. Speed increased by five. 
and luck increased by five. So all of our stats pretty much went up by like a good 10 to 15. Instantly, Ness's mind cleared and he realized that he had possessed great power. And at that moment, Ness's psychic powers radically expanded. Ness gained 200,000 XP. Offense goes up by one, defense up by one, guts goes up by one. Vitality of pretty much everything. There we go. Maximum HP goes up by 162. And psychic points go up by 370. Whew. Pity going to be awesome for the mods. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, do you have shout out for uh, streamers? Yeah, we do. Uh, I do that every so often. Uh, I do that pretty often. Usually, Ghosty takes care of that. Uh, but yeah, if you if you uh, stream, uh, let's see, let's do that. Oh, Kara's already got it. Thank you, Kara. Booyah. Speed goes up out of a three. <laughs> Vitality. Yep. Hit point goes up by thirty. Side points goes up by two. And now we get teleport beta. So yeah, that was a massive level up. Ness made all of the hidden powers his own. Ness absorbed the power of the land into his heart and Magicant was no more. Now you can wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. It's time to get up. This part is so trippy. <laughs> there we go. The soundstone that Ness used to have is now gone. What happened, Ness? You've been unconscious for a long time. I had to mod Fallout New Vegas just to make it playable. <laughs> you know, that's actually funny. Um, so I never, I, I modded New Vegas a little bit, but I actually thought that one was okay, vanilla. But then again, maybe I didn't find a lot of very good mods for it. Most of my experience is obviously playing Fallout 4, and I definitely really go overboard with mods. Uh, yeah, Freakbot's got a nice vanilla playthrough. You're actually pretty deep into it now, right? You're, you're past, um, I mean, just eyeballing it without getting into spoiler territory, you're you're like more than halfway through the game now at this point, right, Freakbot? You kept saying something. Saturn Valley? What's waiting for us there? Anyway, we need to teleport. And I think they do this automatically, which kind of sucks. Yep. Yeah, I'd rather go through the rest of it. Uh, the rest of it. The rest of it. Uh, but that's okay. We'll teleport back to Fire Spring, and we'll get any presents we may have left behind. Uh, I think so. We got a crap ton of side quests, not to mention the DLC. Gotcha. So yeah, we got a while. All right. So we may as well. All right. Before. Well, we've got, we got, a bit, we got time. I do what I say. Cross heart. <laughs> hey guys. Haha. -ha! The Mr. Saturns are incredible folk and the Apple Kid. He is a most exceptional young man. We're going to start the first of the DLC on Thursday. Oh, wait. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. So I saw the redemption, but I I didn't hear it personally. You guys heard it though, right? Do I have to fix that? Someone in Orlando is selling a Star Wars themed bed frame. The headrest looks like the cockpit window of the fa that sounds awesome. So I should have heard that. Did I just miss it? Maybe I just missed it. Maybe I was talking and I didn't hear it. But I'm looking at it and it should do it, right? Okay, you guys heard it. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just a moron. Very good. Carrying on. <laughs> Very different from other kids. Well, anyway, the prototype phage distorter has been stolen. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. <laughs> Mr. Saturn captive. So we know who that was. And stole the device. Zoom! I love these guys. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Everything proceeded as planned. Dr. Andonuts, Mr. Center, and I worked together and finally completed the phase disorder. 
The purpose of the device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. In this prototype, you can only travel to dis different points within the same time period. It is able, however, to search out the locations of enemies. Right now, it's indicating the presence of enemies in the Lost Underworld. Not sure what will happen, but I sense big time trouble ahead of you. I'm going to stay here for a while and help Mr. Saturn. It's important for a man to enjoy doing his duty. Yeah, the formula is really low on it. <laughs> hmm. It doesn't work. One thing's missing. But that one material cannot normally be found on the Earth. The material I'm thinking of came from a meteorite that fell when I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite anywhere recently? <laughs> yes, we have. That's how the whole game kicked off. Eureka, that's it. With even just a piece of the meteorite, I could synthesize the material. This is it. That. <laughs> I doubt that your mortal enemy, Gigas, or whatever, will allow you to go to Onet and get a piece of that meteorite. By now, Onet is in his evil hands. You must go, though, so take every possible precaution. The Mr. Saturns have introduced some of their new developments at their shop. Please check them out before you leave. I wonder what Onet is like in this point in time. Yeah, Onet's a little different now. <laughs> but the part, beautiful part about this game are the bookends. Yeah, we're gonna go check this out. Let's see. Okay, yeah, they sell horns of life. Granted, I mean, we have one, but, um, nope, we're good. Thank you. Let's see what new shit he has. Oh, nice. You guys are playing D&D. &D. Sweet. Another D&D &D player. Okay, we have everything we need. Well, we don't need to do anything here then. Actually, let's just save the game real quick. What uh, what setting are you guys playing? Or are you doing homebrew? Yeah, the D&D &D play game we're playing is uh, technically Ravenloft, but... Um, it's it's something a little different. <laughs> uh, we we at some point we'll finish that game. We originally were doing Curse of Strahd. We um we didn't really like Curse of Strahd very much, actually though. But maybe we're weird. Ugh. All right. So this Mr. Saturn here is actually in a really inconvenient place. Let's see. Where do I want to try teleporting out of? You know what? We could probably make that work. We can make this work. Okay. First things first. Let's go to the underworld, and let's go to Firespring and get any other packages we may have missed. Uh, oh yeah, we also play in person. Um, we do play in person as well. Paladin Dragonborn, nice. I love paladins. Oh, well, that was random. <laughs> All right, well, we'll we'll take that. It was a nice free uh, free bit of XP. So let's take a look. So yeah, Ness is pretty much a one-man army at this point, and everybody else is fairly squishy. Although Pooh has got a decent number of hit points. Let's take a look at our goods. Okay. Yeah, Ness is okay right now. At some point, we'll need to grab all that, um, all that magic pudding. She also has a bag of Dragonite. That's good to have. You've got a broken harmonica. Yeah, I should sell that platinum band at this point. Okay. This looks, ah, fine. We'll fight this dude. But like you guys playing Forgotten Realms or, um, or, um, what's the other one? Uh, the Critical Role, uh, world. Exandria, uh, you know, any of those? Or are you, is your DM, um, uh, doing a homebrew custom world? Wetnosaur. Who always does, like, next to no damage? Holy shit. Okay, that's one way to take care of the Wetnosaur. Yeah, now that we're not just um, getting XP here, 
all of it instead of sharing it amongst four people. We're getting a lot less XP, but that, again, that's XP that everybody gets. That's a lot of damage. That's like most of our HP. <laughs> What place would you love to see in the Fallout universe? There are a, a bunch of interesting ones. Um, Chicago, I think, is a really, a really interesting potential setting. I do like the idea of seeing something like London. Um, although, Todd Howard pretty much cut the, put the kibosh on that. I don't think, yeah, we, we go all the way down. I have to go up and around. Ugh, I really don't want to fight that thing. But I think that would be really interesting. Oh, we got one of these weird head things. Yeah, all right, fine. Yeah, still waiting for Fallout Miami. Yeah, the DLC maker of that got completely hosed, man. If they'd come out just a month earlier. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the next gen update completely, completely ruined them. And the Eagle Orbs. Oh, well, that'll kill the Eagle Orb. But I think Fallout Miami would be really interesting, especially since I live in Florida. I mean, I go to Miami at least once a year for something. So it would be interesting to see Fallout in a locale that I'm very familiar with. Uh, isn't the, Yeah, the mod for London and the mod for Miami are happening. But uh, it would be nice to see something officially sanctioned, you know? I think that would, that would be cool. So I am looking forward to those mods. I think someone's done a mod for Manhattan, but uh, also seeing a New York mod would be pretty interesting. Another ego orb. There we go. Here's the Tenda village. Although we've gotten pretty much everything we need to out of there. Oh, I hear my cat prowling around. <laughs> I want a winter. Yeah, winter setting would be pretty neat too. Something like Toronto or Canada. You know, uh, like actually Toronto would be pretty cool. Or like uh, Quebec or something. Yeah, that would be pretty neat. There is some winter mods for Fallout 4. Oh, okay, well, we're... So we mentioned... One of this Mr. Saturn's mentioned Pokey and a kidnapped Mr. Saturn, and now we know where Pokey went. So there's the phase disorder that Pokey kidnapped, and now we know why it's there. Closest you get to any NYC level uh, in Wolfenstein New Colossus. Yeah, I agree. Fall Hong Kong? Yeah, maybe. That is interesting. Am I, like, totally dumb here? Is that where I wanted to go instead? That's where I wanted to go instead. Okay. Well, who knows? Maybe we'll get the magic fry pan from that dinosaur when we go over there to get it. <laughs> yeah, followed Hong Kong would be cool. Um... Let's see, what would be some other really interesting ones? Maybe something like Fallout Paris? All right, but now everything will avoid us, and now we can actually go through here without having to worry about dying all the time. Because I think there is a package in here that we'll want. You know what, fuck it. Let's get auto kills and see if we can get Jeff's weapon. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's see, let's make sure we didn't miss anything over here. <laughs> no mercy. Yeah, right? Because the psychic psycho, or the major, the major psychic psycho has something for Jeff. All right, so I think we already got the, the yep, good. We did get the present over here. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, that's super lame. Whatever. We'll auto fight, we'll kill it pretty easily here. There's the end of that. Alright, so we don't auto kill the soul consuming flames yet. But still, we'll get auto we'll get auto attacks on them, and that's pretty much the end of that. Now, wasn't there another way through this? Maybe not. You know what? Let's go up this way. Make sure there's nothing we're missing in here. Sure, let's do this. 
Fallout Japan. That would be interesting, but I think, um, you know, considering Japan's history with that, I, 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 I would see that as being unviable, unfortunately. But, but yeah, that would be, for various reasons, that would be interesting. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think we'd ever see that. Did we get everything? Maybe we got everything. I didn't think we got everything, though. But maybe we did. Ugh. I just want to make sure that we have everything here. Because we, we were running really low on supplies. Really low on supplies. When we were here last. Good grief, man. Man, the processor slowdown with everything shows up. So, let's go right in this cave. And I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's a shame they teleport you out so that you don't even have a chance to really um, explore and make sure. Now here's a good idea. Persona game set in America. Yeah, that would be pretty neat. I mean, we sort of got that a little bit in 5 because they go to Hawaii, but I mean, still not um it's not really truly set here in the states i think that would be neat okay and this is just the way up right yeah that's that's just and that's the conclusion of all that perfect all right now yeah, well, maybe we did get everything huh god damn it I just want to make sure we got everything here, <laughs> but apparently we did. I did not think we completely uh, finished off Fire Spring. That's actually funny. I could have sworn we were just like, eh, F it, let's just get the hell out of here. Let's get to the end, but I guess, uh, I guess I was more thorough than I thought. Yeah, I was more thorough than I thought because there's that present and that's okay. Yeah, we're, we're done here. I don't think we can teleport out of here. I need to get the I need to get truly out of here. But all right. Well, we ruled it out. Nice. Like a university setting of a, uh, instead of high school that yeah, that would be really cool. Uh Yeah, I agree. That would be really neat. Okay, thank you. We like auto wins. All right, and Paula gained a level, so that ended up being worth it. Okay, fine. We're gonna have to kill these two. Let's just get rid of them really fast. And we'll get a free attack on this one. We might still get it before it even attacks us. Yep, we will. Free, free XP. <laughs> of course, then the question is what, you know, what university? Um, you know, something like UCLA or... You'd want to do something iconic. Man, I'm having a... Oh, right. Let me go down here. Get through here. Yeah, we had to do we had to do that. I tried getting past it. But we did clear this out. I'm just looking for I'm just making sure that we didn't miss anything because they teleport us out instead of um us actually going through it. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss any presents. And it turns out I didn't. thing. There we go. So yeah, now I'm just trying to get out of the area so we can get on to uh, own it. But I thought maybe I left something behind. Turns out I didn't. Oh, 
more soul consuming flame. All I wanted was a free instant win, man. Come on, give it to me. <laughs> I don't know why they don't give me the instant win on that. Really strange. Oh well. Okay, well, once we get out, then we can teleport somewhere. Oh, yeah, let's get the E. Oh, okay, well, that works too. Thank you. Thank you, Eagle Orb, for taking a dumb way. <laughs> that works for us. All right. Let's, uh... Let's just go to Foreside real fast. We'll uh, go to the hotel there. not exorbitantly expensive, but also foresight tends to be fairly easy to teleport from. Yep, that's fine. Plus, I'm hoping Jeff will fix something. Come on, damn. Oh, well. But now we're all at full HP. It's probably going to be... Best newspaper all the others. Everyone reads the foresight post in the morning. Is this page one headline? <laughs> Now we save, since we did gain a couple of levels, and we made some money. Although at this point, I don't think we're going to have any use for any of that money. I think we just have more money than we know what to do with at this point. Uh, Harvard or Yale? Yeah, Har I mean, Harvard would be a good choice, right? Everybody knows Harvard. Yale is another good, really good choice. Let's go to one it. I mean, it could have taken a bus, but... <laughs> so this looks a little different. Frank's no longer at the arcade. The bakery's closed. <laughs> Good. I'm glad it's... I'm glad it's actually doing that in chat now. So even when uh, Twitch does not notify me... Uh, then you get a Boston as the city to explore. Um, yeah, uh, that that is a good point. And Boston would be a really good persona city to explore. Um, that would be a lot of fun. I'm trying to look for... That's yeah, the hospital. We really don't need the hospital. Okay, good grief. I'm totally off in the wrong place. There's a drugstore. We don't really need that. But what I'm looking for here... Can't go in the burger shop. I was thinking something different. There's the library, of course. <laughs> wow, we haven't run into anybody. That's interesting. Yeah, that would be really fun. I mean, you wouldn't even have to do the entire city of Boston. You could just do Cambridge, and that would be enough. Now, yeah, let's take out this evil eye. They do so much damage. And poor Paula, she has... She has no HP to, do to deal with it. <laughs> she just doesn't. That's alright, since we're this close. We'll deal with these two, and then we'll go up into our house and get a free uh, health upgrade. Yeah, we'll take out the evil eye first, because I think that mechanical optobot might explode. Actually, I should have used the heavy bazooka. Good. I think that could diamondize you. That's kind of why I wanted to um, take it out first. Yeah, that evil eye is definitely a problem. Good. Yeah, that's enough for pa Paula. Come on. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Seraf playing Persona USA. Yeah, I know that place from Fallout. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I told we don't. We all know that would happen. <laughs> uh, would be interesting to see the differences too between them. 
considering Fallout is a very 50s hypothetical aesthetic and Persona is much more true to life. Oh, Ness, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around on it now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I'm a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? You want to eat some pasta? Save. Save. Yeah, the button's still a little sticky, but it's not too bad. But my, um, that contact cleaner that we were talking about, Kara and Deadpool, uh, is coming today. So I'll hit the A button with that and see if that doesn't restore the, uh, the smooth, mu um, the smooth motion of that. Like, the other buttons work just fine. Man, you could do a cool Comic-Con scene in the game. Yeah. Yeah, it really should be selling this Atlas. Totally, right? Holy shit, well that evil eye is gone. Good, yeah. Hit Atlas. Hit Ness. Don't hit Paula. Just hit Ness. Ness could take it. I do notice the enemies do tend to pick on Paula a lot. For whatever reason. I'm not really sure why. I mean, unless they know that she's the squishiest of your characters. Although she's the one that has the best psi attacks. I mean, she could fuck them up more than the others can. So it's like, yeah, maybe you shouldn't be picking on the person who can nuke you with her brain. <laughs> I mean, just saying. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, we got to deal with Ghost of Starman. You... Yeah, get that size shield up. We need that. Actually, no. Oh, that's 42 side points, though. But if I do... Okay, so here's what's going on in Seraph's head. I think I'm just going to do this one to protect all of us. But if I do the psychic uh, power shield, it will deflect, it will reflect psychic attacks. So it goes to Starman, what he likes to do is Starstorm. And so what I'm debating in my head is whether or not when all four of my party members are hit with Psy Starstorm, do I just want to protect them? Or do I want to reflect that Starstorm and probably just kill the ghost of Starman just by that alone? Uh, the code has a tendency to attack the fastest character. Oh, is that what it is? Ah. Okay, I guess... Okay, so that makes a little more sense. Yeah, I think we're just going to defend. And we'll have you bazooka the ghost of Starman. Yeah, we'll just bash. It'll be fine. Because I definitely don't want that. Yep, there it is. He does it a lot. Right out of the gate. <laughs> Good, yeah, feel free to miss. It might be the end of Ghost of... Well, it's not the end of Ghost of Storm, shit. Whatever. This will be the end of the Ghost of Star, man. Yeah. Yeah, doing the normal psychic shield was definitely the way to go, as opposed to the psychic power shield. Considering all his side points are premium. Now, if I had like 800 side points, yeah, psychic power shield, no problem. But just doing that math in my head, I think that was the right, right way to get, right way to go. Although our characters are doing pretty well here. Ooh, we'll take that magic butterfly. Yahoo! And of course, Cleo got me up at a ridiculously early hour. I still ended up napping in the early morning, but wasn't, uh, it's not the same. Yeah, let's just do this. Okay. Yeah, I, what I didn't want to do is go down and have it ambush me from behind. Oh, so lame. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Psy shield. Bazooka goes to Starman. Yeah, let's just be done with that. Definitely the way to go. So like any turn-based game, tactics are absolutely... Oh, fuck. 
Okay, didn't work on anybody. Thank goodness. I love that effect, though. <laughs> Brain shock is so awesome to have it done against you in a way. As long as it doesn't actually land. I thought that was so creative to see the entire screen shake. <laughs> yeah, these evil eyes are, are not a joke. Yeah, we'll hit both of you. When it's just one, I do the standard attack that does a little bit more. But I do like having splash damage. Oh yeah, do a standard attack, please. You can do that all day long. Those attacks don't scare me. <laughs> okay. I don't... know what really that... I don't remember what that does. I think we still have to go to the very top. It can be sold for a very high price. Nothing happens if you use it. A <laughs> good explanation for this is tough. So, you know, consider we, we don't have enough money already. It's unfortunate we really don't have a use for money at this point in this game. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll just attack this thing be done with it. Who's starting to do a little bit more damage? This could be a problem. Yep, it just paralyzed two people. Okay, fine. Fine, do nothing. Sure, spy on it, just to see. You can go fuck yourself now. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, paralysis really, really sucks when it's used against you. Fortunately, this will heal my paralysis. Good, we got a surprise attack. Nice. It is nice when it can when you can make that work. Yeah, I think this is alright. Oh, of course Paula misses. Let's try and save some psychic points by not Um using this using our shield here. This may or may not be a good idea. Perfect. Okay, good. I was actually really worried about that for a second. I'm like, oh my goodness. Did getting a surprise attack really not work out for me? Oh, shit. Ness is feeling a little strange. Not great. Okay, you can defend. I really don't need you doing weird shit. Perfect. And feeling strange ends as soon as the battle ends. But feeling strange essentially can mess with your command. So if Ness attacked the evil eye, Ness might feel strange and then attack Paula or himself or something. It's an annoying status, but not terribly debilitating. Yes. I had to think about it for a second, but there we go. That's it for Ghost to Starman. We've already done damage to you. Uh, sucks when Ness misses. Oh, but it missed, so we're good. The beauty of action economy. When the enemy misses, boy, is that devastating for it. <laughs> kind of like D&D &D where you've got an entire party fighting a boss monster and it only goes once and you miss with the one thing. And then your entire party has... Uh, Flyer exaggerates house. Yep, he's also barricaded in. Can't talk to him either. There we go. We've reached the meteorite. Yes, let's grab that. That's got the meteorite piece. So now we just have to get to a point where we can teleport. We might be able to make it work here. I don't think I have enough room though. I think I've got enough room here. 
might have room to do the teleport there. Let's try it. I don't think so, but maybe. Let's try. Yep, we got it. All right, Dr. Andonuts. Hmm, if only I had a piece of that meteorite. Might be able to extract some xenotite. Ah, yes, this is fantastic. What? Well, I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It is very intriguing. All right, leave everything to us and you can get some rest. This is getting most fascinating. Gotta love uh, a little bit of unobtainium here. <laughs> Although it is amazing how many elements were just undiscovered until the last like two, three hundred years. Hey, Darkstar, how are you, my friend? Oh, right, the hotel's over here. Yeah, we have to, uh, we have to go to sleep. Oh, right, I wanted to go up there and sell that other thing. That's why I was going up there. Looking to clear off a little bit of space. How's your weekend going, Darkstar? That's not what I wanted. No! Ugh. There we go. My own fault for clicking through menus too fast. Doing all right. Just finished watching wrestling with Rob and Facebook. Ah, nice. We just, ah, <laughs> I'm like, I, I, that's deja vu. But no, very similar comments. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's sell that platinum band. We don't need that anymore. Yep. Better shit than that now. You know what? Let's just see what else we want to sell. Is there anything else we want? Yeah, yeah, let's sell this Meteotite. 2000. Sure, we'll sell that. D did you know we just finished watching wrestling? <laughs> Oh, man. Although it's not very often that, um, that, uh, yeah, wrestling on the weekends. Was there, a, I guess it was a special event because normally it's, uh, Fridays and, uh, Mondays, right? Today is not Friday, right? Yeah. Oh, unless they're doing some sort of, um, um, special event for Memorial Day. that. Yeah, let's sell things. Let's sell things that we don't need anymore. We're keeping that neutralizer because we could use that. I don't need that. Yeah, you can't even buy that. Fine. Uh, all right, that's fine. We're good. All right, we cleared off some Saudi blood money show. Ah, <laughs> King Queen of the Ring. Oh my God. <laughs> What a descriptor. <laughs> Although, you know, I'm laughing because it's true. But yeah, oof. Mr. Zatterns, I think new things, difficult things from now. So one of the fun things about this font is it's based off of um, the creator of this game's, his, uh, his daughter, her handwriting. He liked her handwriting, ended up basing that. Now, mind you, Japanese children write in kanji. And somehow... The way that they drew the kanji for the Japanese version of the game, they somehow came up with a way with that same type of scribble for the English characters. And so that's where they came up with the Mr. Saturn font was based on her um, learning how to write. So I thought that was pretty neat. Yes, we want slumber. KO. <laughs> the Mr. Saturns are awesome. Let's save. Uh, so the unfortunate part is Jeff did not fix anything else. And this is the last opportunity we're going to have to do that, right? Because he's got, yeah, he's got the broken harmonica. We could try to save again. I might have to. Damn. What if we do it again? I think the problem is if you don't have the, um, IQ requirement. It just doesn't happen. Damn. Fuck. So do I try to level up Jeff a little bit to get that broken harmonica? Or do we just not worry about it? Ugh, status. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's got a lot of XP. Before the next level, we could go to own it and see if we can get another level and get his IQ to uh, a very nice 69. Or just get on with it. Let's just get on with it. I think we're okay. Finally, it's complete. The Phase Distorter, version 2. Is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid, get right in. There's just one more thing though. You might not be able to return, so make sure you're optimally outfitted. Are you ready to go? Uh, I believe we are ready, yes. Even if you're not 100% completely, perfectly completely ready, you should be as prepared as possible. It would be for the best. Without careful preparation, you would be in big trouble. I just wanna make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. So one thing we could do is duplicate our save from... <laughs> oh, shit. I need to get more drink in here. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to go get a refill on that and uh, and deal with that. Um, okay. Let's not pause with that. Let me go grab a quick drink real fast. I will be right back and then we'll get to the rest of this game. <laughs> I definitely heard it that time. <laughs> Okay. Inmates run in the asylum now. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. There we are. Uh, even with the window closed, it's still crazy how bright my, uh, my office is here. Yeah, in hindsight, I don't know if I would have set up my office for the webcam to be facing a window. In hindsight, that was not my uh, my brightest moment here, but oh well. <laughs> We're here now. So one thing I could have done is duplicate the save so that we technically would have two saves. One where we continue past this point of no return and another where we could backtrack and maybe get the magic fry pan or Jeff's ultimate weapon, or the other things, but I'm, I'm good with just continuing on here. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Let's do this. Remember, the Phase Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. <laughs> Brightest moment, son. <laughs> that pun was not intentional, but I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, no, I don't know how I missed that one. <laughs> but but you're you're welcome. You're all welcome. I'm here. I'm here all week. Hello, cat. Oh, my God. My cat is biting my leg. She did not like the pun. All right. Hi. Oh, my God. Stop biting me. Hi. I love you, cat. Hi. Hello. My my feline co-host. For others that might not be familiar, uh, I, I have a feline co-host who, uh, who is my cat roommate. She is awesome, but also causes chaos whenever she shows up. Hello. Hi, baby girl. What's going on? You got you got dinner already. You you got pets and play. And she has a she has a new friend in the house. She dragged a lizard inside. And that poor tailless thing was running around earlier. I let her out on the patio outside. Uh, sorry, I'm giving her a quick pat while I, while I regale you with this quick story. <laughs> Cleo's the most vicious critic. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> 
<laughs> there she is. <laughs> Hello. Oh my God, she's funny. Uh, she'll probably hop up on the desk and say hi to everybody in a second. Although she might not because I don't have actually water up here. Usually that's what lures her up here. She likes to go up and drink out of my water. Uh, but anyway, I open up the sliding glass door to let her out in the patio because that's what she does every morning. And the second I do that, a tailless lizard flees from the patio door the only thing i could think of is it was hiding in the track and when i started to move the door it freaked out thinking i was going to crush it i didn't know it was even there and it bolts luckily she didn't see it but it runs behind my entertainment center and my speakers and i'm like well i'm not getting it out of there now so it's it's still in my living room somewhere yeah you, so yeah thanks thanks cleo for that <laughs> so i gotta hopefully i could rescue that lizard before uh before she um she gets to it, so we'll see if I can rescue it from the literal jaws of death. First, you can repair repair your biological functions. Yes, we know this. Ow! Ow! All right! All right! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Cleo, stop biting me! <laughs> Don't worry, she'll eat it. Yeah, she will. No, she will. <laughs> she will absolutely eat that later. Um, now sometimes I sometimes she does not, but most of the time, uh, when when she gets uh, when she gets a lizard, yeah, she eats it. The time has come. Are you ready? Yes. Remember, the Phase Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, you can repair your biological functions. Second, you can save your progress. Don't be afraid. Oh, right, okay. Sorry, I was getting bitten by a cat, and I kind of got distracted. Hi, Cleo. Hi. Hello, sweetheart. I know. I love you. You're such an asshole. And this cave looks familiar. <laughs> And so if we go up here, we can input your command. We can life up or we can communicate. And we may as well save. We've already gone this far. Shit, I didn't get the magic puddings from Tracy. Fuck. Well, we didn't need all that magic pudding anyway. And as usual, it occurs to me just after we pass the point where I could do something about it. I can't believe I bought all that extra magic pudding and forgot to get it. I'm I'm blaming you, cat, even though I totally forgot on my own. Okay, good. Now she's sitting on my foot. That's fine. It's all right. That would have been oh, multi-bottle rockets. That's what I also forgot to buy. Damn. And now Pooh has Psy, Starstorm, Omega. We can still beat the game, but man, I just made our lives a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Kidnapped I was. Boing, kidnapper, bad guy, bad guy gone. Zoom, where? To the past. Ding, ding. It was a horn of life. So we got a horn of life from the broken phase distorter. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so awesome. Sweet. Okay. Do we have his... Oh. So he fixed the bat... No, it wasn't even a better weapon. Shit. The moonbeam gum is better. Okay, fine. So it didn't matter anyway. So we'll cruise up here. We'll interact with this. Who got the shitstorm Omega? <laughs> Right there. Okay. Now and Dr. Andonuts comes back. So I have a question after this. Good deal, Deep Fry. No problem. I will I will happily answer any question. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gigas is attacking from our exact location, but is he attacking from many years in the past? We must warp to the past and fight, but we here too, boing. <laughs> It's very hard to tell you, but... <laughs> Alright, Dr. Anuts, why are you being coy here? In order to defeat Gigas, who is attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. This could be done by way of the Phase Distorter 3. However, the machine cannot warp living things. I mean, life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot to the past. The transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle in the past. 
Yet you must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face Gigas by traveling to the past? Absolutely. <laughs> you accept this, even while knowing that you may not be able to return to your current form, right? Yes, I see. You have really set your mind on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Ness, please give me that red cap. Ready? Stand by. <laughs> Would you put your own brain in a robot body? Hell yeah, I would put my own brain in a robot body. After that explanation, nope. Good luck, Doc. <laughs> All right, I might not let him put my brain in a robot body, but in general, would I let somebody put my brain in a robot body? Hell yeah, I would. <laughs> I'm going to be an Adrian Barbo bot with big chainsaw hands. <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be great. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, yes, thank you for redeeming Hydrate, although I did have to go down to my kitchen to get it. Hesh wants to be a ro Oh my god, a robot cat would be awesome! Ness, Paula, Pooh, Jeff, my son. There's no turning back now. Ness, activate the Phase Distorter 3 by your own hand, thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Only a few people know of your amazing courage, but the number of people you save through that bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. I see where you're going with that, Deep Fry. I think what they meant was, I think what they meant was they, they transferred their mind programs into the robot. Because, yeah, if they just transferred an organic brain into the robot, the living brain would get dissolved by the warping. These cutting sounds reminds me to the dentist. <laughs> yes, now we're robots. So they are zombies now in the present. Yep, correct. Booyah. All right, so now we've reached the point of no return. We are now in the cave of the past. No turning back now. And of course now instead of heal, it's repair. <laughs> Your phone sounds so funny. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll expect the next, the next level. All right, we all have a while to get to the next level. And a couple of these monsters do drop multi-bottle rockets, so we might end up with a few as we get up here. But let's just try to work our way through, and let's try and do this. Ah, oh, fucking reactor bot. I hate these things so much. You know what? We're this close to the stupid-ass, uh... Heavy bazooka. Yep. And sure, we'll just actually no, fuck it. Starstorm. Starstorm Omega. We're just going right back anyway. We got an ad playing on Twitch, but that's okay. We're just gonna go through this battle and then we're and then heal. Hello, cat. I forgot how much damage that did. Holy crap. <laughs> Man, I mean, it takes a lot of side points, but yeah, Starstorm Omega is amazing. Think about Klingon Heart, uh, Klingon. <laughs> uh, think about how Kingdom Hearts 3 explained their version of time travel, but with brain patterns and bots rather than hearts and where the fuck replica bodies were made of. So funny story, I've actually never played Kingdom Hearts. Now, I've seen friends play it, but I've never actually played it myself. Weird as that is. I'd play a Klingon Hearts game. That sounds awesome, doesn't it? Ugh. Oh, man, they're really fucking me with having a Ghost of Starman and this stupid atomic robot right here. This sucks. Let's just do it. And then we'll, we'll just repair immediately. Because, yeah, when they replenish the stupid fuel supply, it's miserable. And plus, when you destroy the nuclear reactor robot, it just blows up and causes all sorts of damage. Still weird they sampled the Beach Boys for Cave of the Past. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of odd, isn't it? Never understood why certain things get sampled in some games and put in weird places. And I never even, I never even picked up on that. Of course, I did pick up on, um, Chrono Trigger with Robo Steam being, um, 
the first Rick roll ever. That is totally Rick Astley there. Uh, <laughs> that one I recognize playing it, which inadvertently made Chrono Trigger the first Rick roll ever. Oh my God, are these guys always gonna be here? <clears throat> All right, let's just get through it. But we will at least heal or protect ourselves from the star storm that's coming our way. Because otherwise that would mess us up really bad. Good. Fire beam. Do not heal yourself. Please and thank you. Damn. Good, yeah. Oh my god. Kill the freaking Ghost of Starman, guys. Come on, man. You're killing me here. And I really hope the nuclear reactor robot doesn't replenish a fuel supply and heal the Ghost of Starman on me. That would be terrible. Thank you. Alright. Now we just beat now we just beat this thing down until it runs out of uh, HP. We'll eventually get there. It's just a pain in the ass. Oh, okay, now they've fired a beam. Oh, sorry, cat. I know. I moved my foot. I mean, if you're hitting the button, it's only doing like 30 points of damage to each of them, but still, it's, it adds up. Oh, no. Hi, cat. What are we doing? Okay, Cleo, why don't you come up on the, why don't you just come up on the table, huh? I know. I'm sorry. I moved my foot. I know you were comfy on my foot, but I moved. I'm sorry. Or don't. Or don't. You don't want to come up? That's fine. I'm not going to make you, but it would be convenient. I'd pet you easier. You'd be, you know, closer. I wouldn't have to reach down and barely be able to reach you. Hi. And then you wouldn't be able to bite my leg like you're doing right now. Oh, you're such an asshole. <sighs> okay. Good grief. And now I have to... <laughs> and now I'm in an awkward position because I can't go any further. Otherwise, I'm going to roll over... Hi. What? You got fed already, cat. Ah, the squatter demon. Yes, this wonderful thing. So it's vulnerable to fire. We'll do fire beta. That should be fine. Stream ruined. I don't know if stream ruined by cat or or stream just derailed by cat. Sometimes I wonder if my if my chat likes the cat more than me. <laughs> yeah, enhanced. Probably enhanced, Dark Star. <laughs> Everyone loves when Cleo comes and causes chaos. <laughs> like, hey, Cleo's biting his foot again. Can Seraph, can Seraph, ow! <laughs> what, cat? What do you want? I gave you, I gave you food. I gave you a treat. I'm giving you love. Hello, cat. Yes, headbutt the microphone. I know, I love you too. See, isn't that better? Isn't that better? Now you can get a pet so much easier. Hello, I already could see you. Or, or just move move the microphone, jeez. <laughs> so not only am I playing the game, I'm also trying to resist efforts of the cat. Hi, kitty kitty. I know, I love you too. You can even see her rubbing her face on the microphone. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> my, my cat is awesome, but Jesus Christ, is she just a ball of chaos? <laughs> Hello, cat. You would ne you would never know this cat is super loved. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Hi. You know that's that's on a hip swivel. When you do that, it moves. Good grief, cat. I know. I know that you too. 
All right, can I can I fight this squatter demon now? Hmm, can I can I can I play this game now? We're near the end, cat. I promise. There you go. Oh, that's a puff of fur that just went into my eyes. Oh my god. <clears throat> yes, I'm allergic to you, cat. This is nothing new. Hi, I love you too. Holy crap. Okay, yes, front row. What? Okay, I didn't forget about you. I promise. Okay, I'll do it left-handed so I can keep petting you with my right. Does that work, cat? Does that work for you? Well, it is an RPG. You can still play with... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to play with one hand. Granted, for this game, because of that rolling counter, the real final boss is Pet Dander. Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, all right, so I guess I'm going to try this one-handed for a little bit here. Nothing like a little bit of extra artificial difficulty. <laughs> All right, so we got a woolly shambler and a new octobot. Let's see, what's the... Oh, the ultimate octobot. Yeah, that thing's a little scary. All right, let's deal with the wild and woolly shambler first. I think we'll just bash it because I don't actually remember what it's weak to. Let's spy on the woolly shambler and just bash it. Hello, Cleo. <laughs> Okay, don't know what that was, but I'm glad it didn't work on me. Probably vulnerable to free... Uh, okay, it's not vulnerable to anything. Oh, shit. Ugh! I hate a freeze attack like that. Oh, my goodness, that thing is brutal. Hi, Cleo. I love you, too. Yeah, freeze... Freeze is... Or, flash is brutal. Um, I thought I had more night pendants, but maybe not. Did I forget to pick up a bunch of night pendants? And I'm making sure not to touch my face with my right hand. The one that was just touching Cleo a whole bunch. Alright, so we got a couple of horns of life. We'll use one of them on you. Alright, freeze gamma, since it's not resistant to it. We'll do the same thing. Try and deal with this woolly shambler while we're uh, healing Jeff here. There's Jeff. Take care of that. All right, that deals with that. Oh my god, now Jeff's paralyzed. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like having to use psi effects, but so be it right now. Let's see. I'll have to make it. Oh, and that's right, they can steal stuff. Although, stealing a salt packet is definitely the best thing it could have stolen. I forgot it could do that. That's super lame. So that thing's totally scrapped. We're still doing alright. Sucks to have to use a horn of life, but it is what it is. Heal Jeff. How are we doing otherwise? Uh, Paula could use a little bit of a life up. Nothing crazy. Alright, we're still alright. We could continue to advance. Let's try not to fight that thing. Oh, yes, please. Give me that magic butterfly action. I know, I love you too, kitty kitty. Yes. <laughs> okay, we got a woolly shambler again in this shit. Uh, yeah, let's not fuck around. Freeze. Well, the ultimate octobot doesn't kill me, so that's okay. It's a heavy bazooka, that bastard. And yeah, let's freeze the octobots. Oh, I didn't forget. That should... Oh, I was hoping that would take out the... Octobot. Good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, that's gonna protect against that. Fuck. Okay. Okay, that will take care of... Keep Pooh from dying. Okay. 
Ugh, man. Yeah, try mirror. I don't think it's gonna work, but... Yeah, the end, uh, the end, bo the end levels here are uh, pretty hardcore. That's okay. Okay, <laughs> I played a game there, trying to just avoid fighting it entirely. Did not go according to plan, but that's okay. We got this thing. So one of the reasons why Paula is always going first is because of that rabbit's foot. So it's nice for that, uh, so that Paula could always do that, and we can always have a shield up when I need it for cases like this, so that that star storm isn't constantly messing up our day. Who's a good cat cat? Not you, but you're adorable anyway. <laughs> All right, now the question is, can I? Haha, <laughs> I got my soda anyway, around you, Ms. Chonky. Just purring up a storm here. <laughs> oh, this damn combination again. Yeah, let's try and take out that Octobot. I really don't want to do that, but as is evident, as is evidenced, we really can't mess around too much. Oh, I didn't want to attack that. I wanted to attack the other thing. Maybe we killed it anyway. No, we didn't. Should be good to go here now. Okay, that's the end of that. Okay, hello. Hi, kitty kitty. There's a good kitty kitty. What are we doing? You gonna hop into my lap? That's that's usually not a good plan for you. <laughs> Let's see what's in this. Yep, just rub up against the other monitor. That's cool. There we go. Now we got the legendary bat. So we'll go equip that. Okay. That will help out with our offense significantly. Oh, okay. I think she's done causing chaos. She had her pet. I think she just mo mostly wanted a pet here. Oof, don't touch your face with the cat. Dander covered hair. Her hand. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's just bash it. Hi, Cleo. You were just up here. Why'd you go back down over there? Oh, fuck. I forgot it could poison everybody. This thing is so annoying. Let's just bash our way through it. Okay, we got it. Now we just have to heal the poison. We're good. Cleo, do you want food? Is that why you're being so bitey? Hmm? Are you looking for food? This isn't your usual, just come to, for pet. You want more food? All right, let me give you some more food. Cause now, I'm used to you causing chaos, but when you hop down off the off the desk to then start biting my leg again, tells me I'm not giving you what you want. So now I'm wondering if you do want something like food. Give me a second, let me just make sure, despite the fact that she has plenty of food, let me just make sure that that's not what she's looking for. Give me, give me one second, chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kitty cat. Yeah, hungry cats must be dealt with swiftly. Okay. Look out for the cat. You're standing right in the way. Look out for your paw. Yeah, I know. I'm looking out for your paw. Okay. Are you hungry, baby girl? Is that your problem? Yeah, that's that.
water. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Ghosty. <laughs> and if she had just gone downstairs to look at it, she would have seen there wasn't a spot of bottom bowl in there. There was plenty of food in there. She just wanted a little bit more fresh put in there just because she is my spoiled cat. Uh, that's all right. Do I wash my hands or do I just be careful here? She's probably just going to come back and I'm going to have to pet her in a second anyway. No, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Let's do this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, will Sarah survive the cat allergies? Okay, so we got the legendary bat. Let's go to this teleport thing. Oh, God. <clears throat> Let's see what other enemies are up here. There's probably going to be a Bionic Kraken. Ooh. Hungry Bazooka. Forget the magic pudding, you need antihist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. Uh, it'll clear in a second. It's all right, my cat's worth it. She is, she is my girl. Oh boy. I didn't see the lizard when I was down there, so it's still hiding from her. Oh, oh my goodness. Ooh. Okay, here comes the shield's gonna protect us. How long before his to be claimed serves? Holy right! <laughs> oh my goodness. That's the end of the Ghost of Starman. Alright, so now we just gotta deal with this nuclear reactor robot. It's probably gonna run- yeah. Alright, so we just have to start over now. Ooh. And now it's gonna do its requisite damage to us. Yeah, it only did 20 damage, because it only hit two of us there. Yay, apologies! Need the level! And Jeff. Oh, and Pooh. Everybody pretty much got a level there. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, we definitely need that. Let's see. Who's hard up for healing Pooh? Let's heal you. Good. Let's get our magic butterfly here. And let's fight this thing, whatever it is. And yeah, I need to blow my nose really fast. Ah, we got a final star man here real quick. Give it just one second. Oh yeah, it's time to wash my hands. So I would do that if I could. Um, I've tried those, um, those like um, sinus uh, cleansers, and um, I've never had any real luck with them. I think I've got a deviated septum though, because uh, anytime I've really tried to do any of those uh, sinus rinses, they just never actually run through. 
Um, so, yeah, but just the ability to just wash my hands real quick and just blow my nose is pretty much taking care of that. This allergy fit will run its course in like another good five, ten minutes, but I think that was, that was the worst of it. Ooh, okay. Then we got Final Star Man. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah, for the most part, I think using... I remember using a multi-bottle rocket on this guy, and that was a terrible idea. Actually, yeah, magnet his ass. So I need psi points. Let's spy on you, and let's have you do freeze alpha. Just to see if there's a power shield of some variety. But I know it's got, uh, I know it's got side points. Yeah, brain shock is a problem. Oh boy. Okay, that was probably the best thing that could have happened. Yep. Great. So I don't even know what it did. Heal Alpha, that will heal Feeling Strange. Actually, no. Even if it does kick in, hopefully it's not the end of the world. It didn't do mortal damage to me, did it? Okay, thank god. Fuck it. <laughs> this is the case where you use those. Uh, yeah, let's just shoot you. You know what, Merit, fine. There we go. Perfect. Oh, that could be bad. Yeah, that's gonna be mortal damage. Fuck. Yeah, the final Starman could definitely fucking... Fully, you know what? Let's just run away. Damn it. Damn it. I tried doing it before Paula could, uh, get knocked down there. That stinks. Man. Lame. I'm trying to conserve as much of my side points as possible. But yeah, that final star man, it's really not all that hard. But yeah, if he gets, if he lands confusion effects on you, it, that battle can go south really, really fast. Unfortunately, which was evidenced right there. But yeah, if you're on top of things, it's it's really not too bad. I just couldn't remember if he starts off with a shield or not. And I, I still don't really know because we didn't get a chance to really test it out. Like, not really, anyway. Yeah, let's life up Ness. Alright. We got everybody taken care of here. I don't think anything else needs to be done here. You're dealt with. Alright. Let's just try that again. Hopefully we don't run into a problem like that again. Now normally, when I'm not streaming this, what I would do is I would make my way up a little bit, work my way back to the phase distorter, save, recover, how we might even want to do that just to gain a couple of levels before we make our final run at Gigas. Let's bash the final star man. Let's freeze gamma it. Let's just see what happens. This could be really stupid or whatever. Yeah, let's just do that. And let's work our way back to the phase distorter. Yep, it does have a psychic power shield. All right, so we need to bash it. That's gonna be terrible. Or who's gonna die now? Yep. That was bad. Oh, and now he's gonna do a bio shield. All right, so let's just get the hell out of here. Let's run away. All right, so what I need to do is do a neutralizer at first. Yep, and now it's gonna be a Ooh, whatever, it's fine. Not the end of the world here. Come on, there we go, okay. So that wasn't too bad. We're gonna work our way back. Shit. All right, let's try healing Paula with that. Sometimes this works. There we go. It's random. Sometimes it'll work, but most of the time it doesn't. That's all right. We got Paula lifed up. Uh, let's let's lift up Pooh here. 
But at this point, our friends, like, Pooh's psychic points are down to... Well, actually. I mean, I could just try to keep going it. Because the brain food lunch would help with his psi points. We missed an item. We only have the Bracer of Kings and the item. Right, we never went back to that cave to get the Cloak of Kings. <sighs> Damn it. I totally forgot to get the Cloak of Kings. That's not even RNG. We just forgot to get it. That's annoying. So, I mean, we could theoretically try to keep doing this, but let's, uh... I think let's let's make our way back. Let's make our way back to the phase distorter. Let's heal. Nope. Nope, nope. Yeah, we'll have a couple of fights, but we should be able to avoid a lot of them. Ugh. Alright, he starts off with a psychic power shield, so let's just beat the shit out of him. Let's have Paula activate a psychic shield for Star Storm. And we'll have you start off bashing. And then maybe we'll have Paula just magnet the rest of the time, because it's not like she does a lot of damage. Okay, well now he'll deflect physical attacks. No, he didn't. Oh, we put it on uh, the robot. <laughs> Bastard. It's fine. Uh, yeah, bash. Shoot. And bash. Right. We're not going to be able to damage the robot. Except without, uh... Yeah, it's going to deflect. Maybe we brought down the power shield now? That might be the end of the power shield. Yep, alright, so now we can just bash it again. We got this thing. Fuck it. We've gone this far. Let's just kill the thing. Okay. Who boy! Okay, we got through that fight, we got through that ad break. Life is good. It's also... Life up Jeff. Life of Paula. Work with me here. Fine. I know, it's a little cheap to try to constantly do that, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't anyway. But... See, these we could do because Ness has enough life-up ability to heal everybody else. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I'm doing a, um, like a turn-based game now, instead of something that's more action-y. Because, yeah, that A button is certainly not uh, behaving like it should yet. I'm going to have to hope that that contact spray can fix the A button. Yeah, but you know what, that's fine. Let Ness and Jeff do a lot of that damage. Maybe it'll fire a beam or something. No. Yeah, alright, time to start this thing over. Alright, so it has 164. That's the only problem when it replenishes those... There we go, now we got it. It could just take a while because it could constantly heal itself. Alright, well, we're gaining levels. We're gaining levels, we're getting stronger. Get the hell out of here. I mean, I could have played games and gone for the uh, ambush there, but I'd rather just try to avoid as many of these fights now as possible, considering how uh, weak we are. Let's try running away from this. Good, even better. Escape that, so there we go. Good. 
Perfect. We're just gonna run away from this thing. Yeah, these bastards hit hard. They really do. Ah. I fucked up by moving it at the end. Otherwise, we would have had the surprise attack on it. Although it may not go anyway. <laughs> it didn't go anyway. Oh. Oh my god, do my eyes burn. Holy smokes. Yeah, Cleo did a number on me that time. Uh. Fucking fire. Yeah, don't, don't fuck around here. Yeah, we'll have him magnet. Since him hitting doesn't really do much anyway. I think it has side points. Good. Yeah, and of course Jeff got poisoned. We can't get through a fight with a squatter demon without it poisoning somebody. Once we move down here. Ugh. Welcome back, cat. Did you have a good you have a good little meal? Yeah, you're a happy cat now. Ugh. Yeah, let's try to get the little shambler. Well, now you can. Good deal. Uh, we'll, we'll probably uh, be... By the time you get back, we'll probably still be approaching Gigas. But have a good dinner, Rob. We'll see you when you get back. Ugh. Assuming I don't need to go to the ER for some... <laughs> this bullshit. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright. It's nice when Pooh can get a nice little smash attack in. Holding up for a bit. Ah, nice. Yeah. Unfortunately, we... Although we'll be able to get a surprise attack on the others once we come out of this. Okay, let's just run away from this asshole. Come on, thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, come on, we earned that one. Just run away from it. Thank you. Don't want to get nuked, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm the one who nukes, right? <laughs> All right, let's repair. All right, let's let's give this a new run here. But that's okay. The whole party leveled up at least once, and some people leveled up twice. Let's save our progress there. Okay, now let's give this a run. Fuck! I went too far forward. Let's run. Good. Yeah, the, the combinations of enemies in this area, too, are also really shit-tastic. Damn, still couldn't get the surprise attack. Yeah, the nuclear reactor robot just sucks. A lot. Not a fan of the nuclear reactor robot. And then suddenly homesickness. Oh my god, don't even joke about that. Although I don't think Ness can get homesickness in this form because you can't call mom but I could be but it's been a while since I've done this now I'm like wondering but if you can going over and repairing we'll we'll take care of it but yeah that would suck a lot wouldn't it to get homesickness in this bolt in this form because then yeah you have to get back to the uh, phase distorter and I don't think an exit mouse works here no an exit mouse doesn't work here because you can't actually escape, it won't bring you back to the front. Super lame. <laughs> that would be some bullshit if you could, right? <laughs> yeah, 
that would be the perfect time for that one sound effect that everybody seems to have. Fucking bullshit! <laughs> oh god. If I could get homesickness on that, I will fucking add that to my channel because that there is nothing more appropriate than Ness getting homesickness in this form. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, let's kill the boat so it goes to Starman. Let's size shield. Yep. The bazooka goes to Starman and Bash goes to Starman. There we go. I could have had Pooh try to mirror though. That might have worked. So it's got a psychic power shield, but it's not going to matter because we're just going to beat the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah, put that psychic power shield up for all the good it'll do you. All right, now, well, one more level will be really nice. We were blinking, but not long enough. I think the Wooly Shambler is the better choice of things to attack here. Let's just bash it. We'll try. Yeah, all right. I don't know why I bothered. Okay, good. Don't use psychic attacks on that. Got it. Yep, we're just gonna bash you. Oh my god, Paula's about to die. But the ultimate Ultimat didn't get that close. Ooh. Oh fuck it, that's worth it. That was cool. Hopefully we avoid those. You know what? One is better than three. <laughs> we'll take it. Oh, that's bullshit. There was only one of them. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Such bullshit. <laughs> uh, whatever. Yeah, whatever those are, they tend not to work very well on me. I must have an item that's uh, negating whatever status effect it's trying to cause. Probably should heal them. Sure, miss, it's fine. As long as it doesn't hit Ness with a- or hit Jeff with a beam, we're okay. Kind of rolling the dice that it won't. Doesn't matter. Gotta love that rolling HP meter. <laughs> They've done mortal damage to us so many times. Yes, there we go, finally. Man, I've been having terrible luck with these. We'll still do... We'll still do the size shield, because why not? Yeah, opening attack. You know what? Let's try to mirror the Ghost of Starman. Why not? It's not going to work, but who does negligible damage anyway? If I had the Sword of Kings... Oh, there we go! If I had the Sword of Kings now, we're talking, you know, differently, but... Now, the only issue is when he can successfully do that, we lose control of him. He's now a ghost of Starman that just is allied with us. But it works. Oh, wow. Well, he didn't even get to go. Okay. Well, that battle still turned out very well in our favor. There's our warp bubble. Well, our teleportation sphere. A little more accurate. That's 
fine. <laughs> I'd rather have one than all those. Although it's still gonna extend like... All right, gutsy bat time. Let's see. Yeah, we've got to do freeze on you for sure. Maybe bazooka. Yeah, we're not we're not fucking around with you. Let's see if we're lucky enough. It'd be kind of cool, right? I've never gotten a gutsy bat. It'd be pretty neat. But I mean, again, we're at the end of the game. Like we already have the ultimate weapon anyway. All right, so that was pretty cool. And wow, okay, that was a nice level. We'll take that. Now we're in the last third of it. I was debating whether or not to warp back and try to cut, play games with it, but fuck it. <sighs> okay, starts off with a psychic power shield. Do that. So we could do that. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Because that's what could do a lot of damage to us. Couldn't hurt to try once. Fuck. Damn it. The two people I needed to not work on. Alright. Fucking brain shock. <sighs> and... Let's see if either one of these two could heal their feeling strange. Yeah. Wow. Wait. But it worked on Ness. So... I guess it requires more than just alpha. I guess it requires beta. Shit. Damn. That would have worked really nicely. Oh well. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Healing beta. Ness. <laughs> you know, I could just have him use the neutralizer, but oh well. Damn it. <sighs> Fortunately, I've got more than enough psychic points for him. You know, we'll just have you defend. Come on, Ness. Heal yourself, you bastard. I don't want to be... Come on, buddy. You could do it. I don't think I've got anything that will heal you. So let's just keep bashing you. I don't think he has anything really to use. So yeah, we'll just have you shoot. Yeah, we'll just have Pooh defend. Because I don't want to waste Pooh's very valuable psychic points now. I don't want to go have him go down. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it! This is stupid. Let's just get away. I wanted to keep the XP that we earned from killing Final Starman. Like, that part sucks. Like, it sucks that it gypped us out of the XP we earned, but yeah, I couldn't get them to not feel strange. Because the way to undo that is with healing, and both of the people that had healing felt strange. So, yeah, that, that part sucked. Kind of annoying, but oh well. And unfortunately, feeling strange is not an effect that just kind of wears off over time. But we got here. Not the end of the world. Alright. The end of the game. Where shit gets really fucking weird. <laughs> oh boy, does this shit get weird. Alright, let's take a look at our statuses here. So you've still got decent hit points and all that, but let's have you life up alpha anyway. Perfect. 
You're down a pretty significant number of psychic points. Yeah, it's about as many psychic points as you have. All right, so let's life up Paula. Life up Jeff. Let's just top off everybody else. This is what a cop protection would kick in if you were playing a bootleg cart. No kidding. Huh. Goods. Magic pudding. Paula. Good. Works. We'll take a side caramel. I think we're okay here with most of this stuff. You know what? You can have it. You can use a side caramel poo. Yep. That's why we keep a lot of these. All right. So you've still got a secret herb that you could use to resurrect somebody. Although I should probably give that secret. You know what? I don't know. The secret herb is fine. But that cup of life noodles, we're going to give that. We're going to give that to Paula. That way, at least Paula can resurrect Ness or Pooh in the event both are done. And erase all your saves? Oh my god! That's horrible! Game would freeze right before the Gigas fight and then erase all your saves? That's total bullshit. Oh my god. That is, um... That's, uh... That's some bullshit there. Oof. <laughs> oh boy. I was kind of hoping for some multi bottle rockets, but oh well, not the end of the world. Ness, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. No, we're not surprised because the Mr. Siders told us you adopted one of them. I assist only the strong and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made a prediction, but I won't let what the Apple of Enlightenment predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gigas. Gigas will be stronger, a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gigas, and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gigas, no. Gigas is no longer the wielder of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself. Yeah, right here is where it would freeze, right where the worm, right where the face worms. Oh my god. Which he cannot control on his own. He is the evil power. <laughs> Gigas and his cohort attacked. I love how it's Gigas and his cohort. Doesn't even bother to tell you the name Pokey at this point. While ridiculous, Earthbound is on the list of some most interesting anti-piracy measures. Yes, hi, holy shit. All right, so yeah, we're gonna bat. Yeah, bashing Gigas doesn't do fucking anything. Gigas is basically invulnerable in this state, so we got to beat the shit out of heavily armed Pokey here. And I don't remember if Pokey starts with a shield or not. I think we'll just bash for now. We'll have Jeff use the neutralizer, and who will bash until I? Yep. Problem is he loves to reduce debuff you like hell. And he uses these attacks against us, which is super awesome. You know what? I think he does counterattack if you hit him. Alright. Now we'll have Paula bring up a shield. Time for heavy bazooka time. Yeah, now time to beat the shit out of this little bastard. Actually, I should have had Puyu's freeze there. That's fine.
Yeah, it's a lot of damage. But Paula's got saved her. going to freeze fucking Omega on your ass. Heavy Bazooka. And yeah, same. Freeze Gamma. This might take down my Psychic Shields. Yep. That's alright, Paulo will have to do the Psychic Shield next time. But I wanted to do damage to Pokey this turn. The DS version of, uh, does it? Yeah. Uh, the newest version of Michael Jackson, the experience Blaze, Blaze is the game audio of the AP check fails. What? Oh my god! It's now Paula's hit points are maxed out. Wow, that's uh... That is uh... That is certainly creative. Jesus, what the fuck's wrong with them? Alright, so yeah, we'll do that. Good, let's have a bazooka. So mostly we just gotta ride out this uh... This particular wave wall, we do as much damage to heavily armed Pokey as possible. Because I don't need this to get. I don't need that psychic shield disappearing. Oh. Oh. That was a terrible time for this text to come up. Keep fighting without even knowing what Gigas looks like. You never be able to turn away. That's how scary it is. So do you want me to turn off the devil's machine? Yeah, I couldn't save Jeff there. Well, prepare to be amazed. So, isn't this terrifying? I'm terrified too. Gigas can't think rationally anymore. And he isn't even aware of what he's doing now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yep, that's what he is. Eh, eh, eh. And you, you will be just another meal to him. In the first game, Gigas kind of looks like Mewtwo from Pokemon. He has corporal form. Now we can do damage to Gigas. All right, so now we will, uh... Yeah, we'll just do... We'll do that. We will, uh... We'll do Psy Freeze there. And we'll heal Jeff. That'll bring Jeff back. Attack Trottle, Absolute Terror. And it works. I mean, that's a great title. This whole battle is just creepy as shit. It's a fantastic final boss battle for a great game. So yeah, we're gonna... Uh, no. We'll do more... We'll do more of that. Paula. Let's do a Psy Shield. Yeah, that definitely works. Yeah, heavy Bazooka to Gigas. Uh, Pooh will just have you bash, because we need you to have as much Psy points as possible here. Because we need Pooh to be able to heal at this point. Best part is the dev who put in the MJ game never told Ubisoft about it either. <laughs> Holy shit, that's glorious. <laughs> uh, how does Dick Gigas dodge? Like, seriously. <laughs> oh, man. Right, so, yeah, we'll have you freeze. Have you bazooka time. And. Yeah, we'll just have you bash for now. He's everywhere and nowhere. Oh, that works. Make Gigas lose an attack. Alright, we do a little more damage to him. Oh, wow, that was fast, actually. We made quick work of that. <laughs> you must be really at the end of your rope in this bizarre dimension. You four are the only force fighting for justice. And here you stand, waiting to be burned up with all the rest of the garbage of this universe. Ah, it's so sad. I can't help but shed a tear. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. 
<laughs> this is indeed a disturbing universe. <laughs> it's like trying to kick the ground and somehow missing. Seriously. Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? <laughs> when I call your mommy, Ness, say, mommy, daddy, I'm so frightened. I think I'm going to wet my pants. I know you have telepathy or some bullshit. So just try and call for help. You pathetically weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. <laughs> no worry. Your pitiful suffering will be over soon. All right. So now this, for anybody that's never played this game, this strategy may look a little strange. But... This is the easiest way to get to the end. And remember this prey thing that we rarely used most of the game? Now we use this exclusively. Defend, defend. We have everybody defend to try to keep ourselves alive. Because at this point, Paul is the one who now defeats Gigas. Tuck your head between your knees and pray. That's fucking right. If it is possible, please, somebody help us. <laughs> I mean, this is somewhat corny, but it's also really fucking cool. All of the Mr. Saturns felt a new startling feeling they had never experienced before, and they all started praying for the safety of Ness and his friends. I know shit gets really fucking weird. Because his defenses became unstable, and holy shit, do they. <laughs> Paula prayed from the bottom of her heart. Please give us strength. Anyone who can hear our plea, help us. And of course, an ad is running while this goes, but that's all right. Anybody who can... Anybody who's watching uh, in the upper right corner can still see this shit. So, uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Everybody's back. All right. I know you could still see it while the ad's playing. But, yeah, and this time we prayed, and now the Morning Way 5 here in Summers have kind of answered. And, uh, they, anyway, they pray fervently for the safety of Ness and his friends. <laughs> Not right. Not right. Not right. It's not right. Not right. You cannot grasp at your form. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. That was terrible. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, so yeah, that was, uh, fucking terrible. Okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we are going to heal who? Because we need to heal that feeling strange. And we are going to heal Paula. Or do I wait? Shit, man. I may actually wait. Actually, hold on. Let's see. Oh, right. I can't. I have to do this. So, all right. Well, thankfully, I can heal the feeling strange on Poo. Maybe I should just defend rather than waste it. Yeah, let's just defend. It's not right, not right, not right. Yeah, we gotta we gotta rebuild our, our party here. Cause we got fucked up from that. My god. That was probably freeze on everybody. Oh, come on. Does healing revive people? Um so healing omega does, but only poo has healing omega. Uh, and Paula has an item that will do it, but Paula is also unconscious. Whole metaphysical anus destroyed, yeah. So, uh, yeah, this was, that was a really bad attack that fucked us up really bad. So that was probably Flash again. So I think that was the problem. Alright, so Pooh is no longer feeling strange. So now we can heal the paralysis on us, which isn't really that big a deal. 
paralysis wasn't the problem for us. It was the fact that um, we need to get Paula back up. It hurts. Ness. It hurts. It hurts. Go back. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I got screwed in my play. Couldn't revive Paula. Yep. So I've got a couple of alternative ways of reviving Paula. Um, so anyway, Pooh can revive Paula, and he just did. Um, so technically, this one can revive Jeff. I'm going to try. Um, just to conserve Pooh's healing here. Paula is going to pray. And you are going to eat a brain food lunch. Paula prayed from the bottom of her heart. Please give us strength. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. Yeah, because if Paula goes down, you're 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 really really fucked. <laughs> Paula's father thought he somehow heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Paula and her friends. <laughs> so yeah, it may not look like it's doing a lot of damage yet, but you notice that's starting to increase exponentially. That's probably freeze again. Yeah. Alright, so who's... Alright, so that was the big one for that. Uh, we are going to life up Paula for sure. Paula's going to pray. And who is now going to heal Omega, Jeff. And that will bring Jeff back. Although we technically don't need to bring Jeff back, really. Um, we could just let Jeff be dead. Does Jeff do anything here at this point? You know what? I might just... I might just not. You know what? Let's just have Pooh defend here. Anyone who can hear a plea, help us. But yeah, healing Gamma has a chance of reviving people. But, um, yeah, poor Jeff. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. But in case Paula gets knocked down again, we need to make sure we can revive her. Suddenly, Tony felt anxious about Jeff, and he prayed strongly for the safety of Jeff and his friends. There we go. Now we're starting to get into some good damage now. Ness. Ness. <laughs> Ah, yep. Good, and Paula's gut saved her. <sighs> okay, life up Paula. <laughs> ah, Paula's frozen so she can't move. Now yeah, let's just have him defend. It hurts, it hurts. I'm happy. Friends. Yeah, hopefully this doesn't kill Paula. Ah, there we go. Oh, well, can't. <laughs> this can't kill Paula. If it hits anybody else, they'll take damage. But if it hits Paula, it deflects it. All right, so Paula's hit points are maxed out again. Let's defend, pray, and defend. Go back. I'm happy. Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh. God damn. Please grant us power. Anyone who can hear our plea, help us. I'll probably heal Pooh's paralysis because if he's hit with the same thing while paralyzed, it usually kills him. So I will still heal the paralysis on Pooh, even though I'm not really worried about him being paralyzed. He could still use Psy powers while paralyzed. I just don't want him to get killed by the same attack. Uh, and she began to pray for the well-being of Pooh and his friends. Yeah, she had a dream of Pooh and his friends dying, so she dreamed for the safety. Yep, now we're dealing some significant damage. Alright. 
Uh, yes. Let's heal Gamma Poo. That will heal your paralysis. I don't really worry about you with your crying. And you're fine. Yeah, we'll do nothing. It's fine. Yes, I'm happy. Darn. Ah! <laughs> oh, god damn it. God, this sucks so much. Man, Gigas is taking me down a lot. Ness, 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 ness. I feel good. Let's bring Paula back. All right. Let's heal the crying. Let's pray and defend. Pray a couple of prayed from the bottom of her heart. Please grant us strength. Anyone who could plea hear our plea, we ask for this. Now I'm really glad I didn't heal Jeff unnecessarily. We got Frank in the burger shop here. <laughs> Suddenly Frank recalled Ness's shining young face and began to pray diligently for the safety of Ness and his friends. So yeah, that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to survive. It, it, you're not even trying to defeat Gigas at this point. You're just trying to survive him. <laughs> Which is such a brilliant way to have an end boss show up for a game. Ah, damn it. All right, let's try to heal Pooh. Maybe it'll bring him back. She can pray. She can pray paralyzed, it doesn't matter. We're gonna do it. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. So yeah, healing Omega always revives you. Healing Gamma has a role. And I think it's like 30% or something like that. Kind of sucks. Maybe it's 40%. But I, I feel like most of the time I try it, it doesn't work. Suddenly, Ness's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of her son and his friends. Alright, we're starting to get closer now. <laughs> yeah, now... So, so far, Paula's got the damage record now at 1285. There we go, we revived Pooh. Sweet. I feel... good. I'm happy. <laughs> That's probably gonna... Okay. Paula's not dead. Sweet. That's all that fucking matters. Alright, let's heal Paula. Pray. And... Fucking life up. Yeah, life up. Paula prayed from the bottom of her heart. I can't think of anyone else. Someone, anyone, please help us! Paula's call was absorbed by the darkness. <laughs> well, okay. Can't kill Paula with that. There we go. Paula's numbness is gone. Alright. Still think we should... Cure your crying, Ray, and fuck it. It hurts, it hurts. Go back. <laughs> okay, didn't work on them. Prayed for. Okay. <laughs> well, Seraph, I'm glad you're feeling good and happy. <laughs> Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're our only hope. Yeah, it's like the level of this. Jeff's an acceptable loss. At this point, yes. Because we just didn't have the resources to keep him alive for this whole thing. Someone, can you hear me? Please, give us strength. Paul and our friend's calls touch the heart of Sarah. And of course, we know what that is. Prayed for the kids, having never even met them before. There we go. Sarah, kept praying. All right, I think we got to the end here. I 
And they kept praying. And now you know why I kept asking you for your actual name throughout this whole thing. Seraph kept play, praying. Praying! <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> yes. Now I, well, it's going to seem like I'm running away. <laughs> it's so appropriate for all these to go off, all this batshit crazy shit's going down. Perhaps I'll just sneak away to another era to think about my next plan. It's a good bet that we'll see each other again. All right, I'll be seeing you. So now which of us, one of us, do you think is the cool guy? Well, it's sure as hell not fucking you, Pokey. Douchebag. <laughs> he couldn't even be bothered to help us while we were trying to rescue his brother from the meteorite hill. Yep, bookends. The war against Gigas is over. Yeah, this game does bookends very, very well. Man, I love this game. <laughs> and just like that, the souls return to their bodies. Okay, this scene is fake. Jeff is dead. Explain that to his dad. <laughs> well, his robot was destroyed. <laughs> travels together end here. I must return to Dalam and use this experience for the good of my country. Ness, Paula, Jeff, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realize this power as a child. Sigh farewell. Now. I'll see you again someday. know that song, don't we? <laughs> Paula, Ness, it was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of the theories that I've been struggling so hard, that I've been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If, just maybe, well, if you two get hitched someday, maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. Hopefully, Jeff, you're destined for greater things than just fixing our stuff, right? Why didn't you revive him? Oh, well, your son was useless. <laughs> Go away, Jeff. <laughs> nah, Jeff is cool. It's just, especially for that fight, just didn't have enough side to go around. I'm going to stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Andonuts. I mean, from my dad. So it looks like this is goodbye for now, my friends. 
Hell, Jeff was awesome for certain boss fights, just using a multi-bottle rocket and completely nuking bosses. He, he carried his... He did some heavy lifting along the way. Ness, will you escort me home? I love that you could actually answer no. <laughs> I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. So now we can go around and talk to everybody. The chance of Gigas gaining victory with his monstrous plan is 99%. However, your courage produced that 1% chance that Gigas fails. Now let's try to come to a deeper understanding of his trait called courage. Incredible. Excellent. I'm not quite sure what for, but congratulations on a top well done. We have a chance to get together again. Let's go to a picnic or something. Maybe we could play horseshoes too. It was in winters that we last met. I just got here, tee hee hee. Ness, open the present. There's a letter from Tony inside. Ness takes it. Dear Jeff, everything's going really great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. Don't show this letter to anyone. <laughs> Such courage comes in many forms, some of which are liquid and delicious. Yes, that is very true. It's fun hanging out together. Ah, Ness, you've read it already. That Tony has a heart of gold. Yeah, he doesn't seem to mind that you read it. <laughs> Let's see, letter from mom inside. Let's take it. Dear Ness, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat pasta as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Uh, Googie or something like that? Well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? <laughs> Tracy, Fido, and I are waiting for you. Love, Mom. Let's see, we got a letter from kids inside. Let's do it. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay? <laughs> Please come and play with us again at Polestar Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the Polestar Preschool. So yeah, now we could do basically a bunch of things. We have access to the all the areas of the game. So good. <laughs> we could talk to the Mr. Saturns. Zoom! <laughs> These guys are awesome. I do what I say. Cross heart. Unfortunately, that Mr. Saturn is kind of in the way. Is there any easier way of getting out of here? Man, the frame rate is uh, kind of garbage in this spot, isn't it? Damn, Mr. Saturn can't go down a little further. Come on, buddy. Go down a little bit more, buddy. No, you're not going to go down a little bit more? Just a little? Let's see. Are we at full? Yeah, we're at least at full. There we go. That should be enough. So now we can do a bunch of cool things. Uh, like I said, the whole game is pretty much open to you. Let's go to Foreside. Let's go see how things are a little different in Foreside. So, I mean, you could just go straight home, but um, straight to the Polestar Preschool. But one of the things we will do is just talk to people. I misjudged you guys. I thought you were little snot-nosed punks. I know better now. So if we go into the Monotoli building, there is... Gergerar, uh, there's Monotoli himself. Oh, Ness, Paula, I'm Geldegard Monotoli. Don't you remember me? I returned this building to Mr. Enrich Flavor. Now I'm working as an elevator man. I'm very happy. It's good to be alive. I heard of your many successes. Wonderful. <laughs> I mean, we could talk to literally every NPC, but there are a couple of highlights which I think are worth kind of exploring in the post game here. Um, I want to go to the cafe. This is an interesting character over in the cafe. We remember this. Oh, hey, long time no see. Thought of a new joke since before. Knock, knock. Who's there? Sawyer. Sawyer who? Sawyer doing well. I'm fine too. Bah! You don't think it's funny? I really thought this would be funny too. No, he's self-conscious. Totally shot. Back to therapy. <laughs> Yeah, this guy. Weird. Yes, Pokey left me his own dad and just disappeared. If you see him, tell him he should take better care of his father. Don't tell my wife and Onet that I've been spending my time here. <laughs> we. <laughs> yeah, father of the year. Can't imagine why Pokey turned out that way he did. So there's that. Alright, teleport. We will... 
let's see. Let's go to the Tenda Village. Not run into a taxi or something. This part's pretty neat. The Tenda all have unique dialogue now. Welcome to this far. Take a rest. Long journey must have been. But here's what I'm really looking for. The book Overcoming Shyness was very helpful to us. We've kept it for a long time, but I'll return it now. Thank you very much. Ness got the Shyness book. We're living in peace now, in a wide variety of lifestyles. Thank you very much. <laughs> I really... Maybe? Underground, very large area, exists. Dinosaurs, big, scary, lost underworld. Stone there is, talks lots. All right, so that's pretty much all these guys. They're all talkative now. They're no longer shy, it's oh so nice. So now if we go to the Onet library, we can return that book, but let's, uh, let's get Paula back to Tucson here. Actually, go to the cycle shop. You want to ride a bike? It's not going to work. Two people on one bike is strictly forbidden. Okay. Once I get Paula back, then we could probably rent a bike. Finally. Obviously, I didn't do it earlier because the inventory space was at such a premium. Oops. Taxi had to stop for the dog. <laughs> well, we'll walk Paula back home now. He's smiling. <laughs> Ness, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. The old anime trope. Did you know you can take? Uh, did you know you can take Paula back home? Yep, that's we're, we're doing that right now. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Um, oh, I mean, you. Yeah, you can take her back to Onet and introduce her to your mom. Yes, that is fun to do. Yep. See ya. Bye. <laughs> it is pretty fun. And she's like, uh, yeah, I guess we could come inside. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. Really? You've lost some weight since the last saw you. Yes. Paula must have had quite the adventure. I'm glad you live so close to us. Why don't you drop by more often? I'm working at making some better pasta. <laughs> I love that the parents support them. But yeah, you can take her back to own it for sure. I mean, there are so many post-game Easter eggs. If I did them all, I mean, I could I could be streaming for like another two hours with the post-game content. You could do a lot uh, in the post-game. We'll do we'll do some things that I that I thought were kind of like my favorites that I remember being able to do. I think this guy still says the same thing. Yep, kidnapping's wrong. I'll be careful not to kidnap anyone. Yeah, you uh, you do that, buddy. I don't know if you could still rent a bicycle here. I'd like to see Pokey's dad in Fort. Yeah, I like to see Pokey's dad in Foresight. Yeah, that's a favorite of mine, too. I always have to do that. This is the Bicycle Top Punk Shirt. Bicycle's so much fun and so convenient. A lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular. Yep. Uh, only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? Yes. I really like our straightforward style. I'll tell you what. I'll let you borrow a bike for free. And now we got our bicycle. Perfect. Teddy bears, for example. Yep, we already said that. Can't have a bicycle. So now we've got a bicycle. Yeah, we, uh, you may have been all the way for the keyboard. We were literally just there. We, we talked to Pokey really fast. Or uh, Pokey's dad really fast. Father of the year material there. Uh, all right, so I think we're good here. Yeah, okay. I want to make sure we can teleport. Good. We have enough distance. No, that's not what I was going for. Teleport. Deep darkness. <laughs> yeah, we talked to Gar uh, Monatoli. Oh yeah, here's the doctor and this guy. But here's one of the neat parts. Which normally you don't really know. You could ride the bicycle through the deep darkness. <laughs> Much faster. <laughs> I don't know if uh, the creators of the game ever thought of that. 
but it does let you do it. <laughs> anyway, we got off the bike. Okay, let's get off the bike. And, uh, oh, actually, let's ride that bicycle, go back to, let's head back up there. I think we need to go over this way. We need to teleport back. I'm trying to think where the easiest place to teleport out is. It's probably up here. take damage anymore. We used to take damage doing that. We don't any longer. Right, this is a spot we can teleport. Yep, let's go to own it. We'll do a couple of fun things, and then we'll wrap this game up. Don't want to, I don't want to be going at this too long, but there are a couple, like I said, there are a couple of neat things that I think were worth looking at. Just want to make sure it's in the right place. Uh, right, I need money. We need money for what I'm about to do. <laughs> we have 300,000 in the bank. <laughs> got all of that. We have max money now. And I am, uh, right. I don't remember exactly where it is. I think it's down here, though. And we'll go into the bakery. We'll say hi to Frank. Yep, good. This is where I wanted to go. Doesn't this house look good? You could buy it for only 7,500. It has an ocean view and the sunsets are beautiful. Folks should have a place of their own. Do you want to buy it? Yes. It's all yours now. Take some time and relax. And obviously when we first show up here, that's a lot of money. Okay. And obviously, yeah, sorry. I didn't realize the ad was playing there. But yeah, we just bought this house when 7,500 was a lot of money back in the early game. And it's of course a shithole. There it is. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I was trying to uh, generate here. The old fuzzy pickles guy. And now we can see why it was only worth 7,500. <laughs> yeah, this ends up being the, fi the final fuzzy pickles. I don't think there are any others that we may have missed. There are 32 in total. And so if you only get a few, they're on the screen for a really long time. But if you get a bunch, they go by really, really quickly. <laughs> this guy, Dr. Demento over here. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Let's see, uh, the burger shop. Yep. We don't need to go to City Hall at this point. But I want to do two things. So first off, nope, that's not the library. You want to go to the burger shop and talk to Frank? All right. Thank you very much. Enjoy your meal, dude. I'll see you when you're on a little later. After our battle, I became serious. They've been working very hard. I've even been doing some training for, for well, a little bit of pro wrestling. It's the ring for me, baby. So you made it back alive. You must have many stories to tell. Let's get together for a drink when you have a chance so I can hear your stories. I'm talking about drinking mineral water. I'm still underage, you know. <laughs> wow, Frank. Real rebel material there. <laughs> Alright, so let's find the, the library. The library should be right over here. And we'll get an awesome reward for returning the shyness book. <laughs> it's not necessary to turn the map now. Come back in the year 2001 to return it. God, that makes me feel so old. Finally, you've come to return the book. Seems like you finished it. You're such a good boy. As a reward, I'll give you a kiss. Smack. <laughs> yeah, that part probably didn't age all that well. But man, as a kid, it was like, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, man.
All right, so, I mean, again, there are a ton of Easter eggs. We'll do one more uh, with this. But uh, we'll start getting ready to go back to bed here. Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your chats with people you met on your adventure are finally over, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. It's one last thing. We'll call the Stoic Club. Yo, this is the Lazy Cowpoke Stop and Go. Yeah, we're a new truck stop. We just opened. What's that? The Stoic Club? That lame old place? Shut down ages ago. We totally remodeled the place. Now we got loud music, great food, and really rowdy crowds. Listen, buddy, I'm too busy to talk to you right now. Just drop by anytime. You come, you enjoy. I promise. <laughs> but all right, I think we've done everything we want to do. Did you finish doing everything you wanted to? Yeah, I think so. Okay, now you can finally share your incredible experiences with me. You did so well. I can't believe it's over. It's been a fun ride. And that was with forgetting to bring all the magic pudding I bought in Magican. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> and of course, the Runaway 5 theme. Hi, cat. Okay, that was perfect timing, kitty kitty. Hi. Oh, yeah, and you could go and see Liar exaggerate again. He actually is a little snarky with you. He's like, don't have such, like, a big head for saving the world. He's like, really, dude? <laughs> Hello, cat. Hello, kitty kitty. Are you a good cat? Yeah, you're a good cat. Hello, cat. You know, you can stop waking me up at five in the morning every morning, cat. You can at least wait till the normal hour. You can. <laughs> Good old Runaway Five. Ah, oh, yeah, the happy happiest. There's some cool dialogue if you go back there, too. So that's a good question. Um, I am in the middle of playing Fallout 4, but I think it's time to go back to East a little bit. The only question in my mind is whether or not I'm going to play E6, which I've played a bunch of times, which originally came out for the PS2, or whether to play E4 Memories of Celseta, which I've never actually, like, played the whole way through. I've started it, but um, I feel like if you save the world, you should get, like, one free murder or three other... <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you, should, you should get some slack you know, for, for certain stuff, right? <laughs> uh, you'd, you'd, you'd vote for the East 4 remake? Yeah, part of me kind of wants to do that. Now, I started playing it on PS4, uh, on my PS4 when I, you know, I'm sure it would work on the PS5, but, um, I'd probably just get the Steam version and just stream it from my computer that's already configured for everything. I think that would be the way to go. And the appeal of that, of course, ah, yes, Venus. Uh, the, of course, the appeal for that is I could then just kind of go in order. Uh, assuming I don't just get East 5. Actually, I think I have uh, an ISO of East 5 that has a fan translation. It never actually got released in the West. But I mean, I could go the East 4 remake route. And then <laughs> the Sister Saturn in the wrong place. Ah, the Tenda. The Tenda tribesmen are so awesome. I love the Flying Men. It's too bad that uh, we didn't have a flying man last long enough to make it to the... Oh, there we go. That's such a great bass line. <laughs> I love how dad just gets a telephone. <laughs> So now we got some credits and that photo album we were promised. I wonder how many of them we actually got. We got a bunch of them. We're probably pretty close to all of them. But I, it's hard to get all 32 in one playthrough. Usually it's just natural to miss one, one or like here and there. 
but we probably, I would say we got at least 25. Um, and if I had to take a guess, we probably got like 30 of them. I suppose I could count them, but I'm probably going to just be chatting with you guys and lose track. Fuzzy pickles. What a great soundtrack, too. I should learn how to play that on piano. <laughs> of course, there's only us in the picture because we were the only ones that went along with that particular picture. But it is funny to actually be able to see your journey one more time in the credits and how far we came. I mean, it was probably like, what, 30 hours of play gameplay, which in today's standards isn't all that much, but in 94, that was a pretty long game. Yep, we got Paula and a teddy bear with us. <laughs> Good old Chaos Theater and the Runaway Five, AKA the Blues Brothers. <laughs> Tessie. Ah, yes. The first dungeon for Dungeon Man. First trip to Saturn Valley. And of course, the uh, third strongest moles. Good old Dusty Dunes Desert and all the heat stroke associated with it. The museum and Pooh's first appearance. Yep, we only had Jeff for that particular fortune. Paula was kidnapped and... <laughs> yep, when we re revisited Delam to get the uh, the other one. So yeah, we were just talking about that, uh, Mudhorn. Um, you know, uh, it's it's probably going to be either be the E4 remake or E6. Um, and of course, then it's, it's just a question of I probably will ultimately play all of them. The only question is, what order will I play them in? The appeal of playing E6 for me is, even though it's been a long time since I've played E6, because I lent it to a friend of mine and then he moved. Super lame. <laughs> we got a taxi in that in that particular copy. Um, so it has been a while, but I mean, I have played E6 enough times where I feel comfortable just playing it stream. Whereas playing the E4 remake, I've never played the game, so it would be a first-time playthrough. So I'm just, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but I probably will decide between now and tomorrow for sure. Uh, and I guess part of it will depend on what there seems to be more of an interest in. Um, I mean, if there's an interest in kind of going sequentially through them, maybe I should just, like, bite the bullet and just play Memories of Silsetta. I mean, at that point, I may as well double down and then play uh, East 5. Um which is in Xandria. Of course, that was the not popular game that never actually made it to the United States. Uh, that was only released in Japan for the Super Famicom. Ah, yes. That's Scrava and Dungeon Man. <laughs> so I don't know yet. <laughs> I kind of oscillate between East 4 and East 6, but it's, it's gonna be an East game most likely. 
mean, barring some other conversation, it was like, oh, you're right. I totally should play that. <laughs> I missed you. Yeah, the Tenda Village. Split the difference and just do five. <laughs> oh, man. That's fucking great. <laughs> All right, in a second, that's going to go. And now we'll truly get the bookend. Anytime now, game. There it goes. <laughs> it is not supposed to do that, but uh, that is amazing timing so yeah when we're playing this game every, obviously uh, man this is going to be a great clip so obviously when you're playing the game if you've been playing too long your dad will call and offer suggest you take a break clearly there was nothing no part of the code where if we get to this part of the end game literally the end game post credit scene where it shouldn't actually provide this <laughs> you've been out there a long time now but uh, don't you think it'd be a good idea if you took a break? Uh, no, not now. I see. Doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Uh, we already saved the world. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Yes, it is. My land. Who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? I've got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. Yeah, right, right? Wow, just wow. Of course, picky, not pokey this time. A letter arrived from my brother, Pokey. It's addressed to Ness. There's no stamp, and it's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, come and get me, loser. Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. <laughs> right and so at that point the game and now now the game is over <laughs> the perfect bookend but yeah pokey has got to be one of the worst npcs i mean obviously perfect villain material because we hate his guts right that's what you want when you're making it but man that's got to be one of the most loathsome characters ever 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 written oh my goodness he sucks oh man so yeah, ladies and gents, that concludes Earthbound. So as uh, as um, Deep Fry was mentioning earlier, um, yeah, there are a bunch of other things uh, to do. We had already talked to Pokey's dad in the cafe well, um, in Foreside. You can also bring Paula back with you uh, to introduce uh, her to your mom, uh, which is kind of a cute scene. Uh, you can also go to the Stoic Club in Summers. Uh, my goodness. I mean, I, I remember playing this game a whole bunch of times when I was in high school. And uh, yeah, I, I ran around very frequently just to see what kind of different things uh, that there are. But just for the sake of brevity, I only did some like my, my favorites, uh, like riding a bike in the swamp and <laughs> seeing Pokey's dad and all that. And also calling the Stoic Club. It is pretty funny to call them. Uh, but yeah, that was... It's Earthbound is such such a good game, uh, and I love coming back to it. It's it's just it's an absolute delight. It's one of the best games, in my opinion, that that was ever made uh, in gaming history. So um, it's always a very nice joy to go back to it. And uh, but yeah, let's uh, so let's see who we might want to raid out to. Um, oh, Kara's on. Kara's playing Sea of Thieves. Ah, Kara's probably playing with uh, with Captain Maxi here. Let's, uh, why don't we raid out to Kara here 
and we'll see what him and Maxie are up to. And um, yeah, and we'll, I guess we'll just have to figure out what, uh, what I'm playing. Although I'm gathering from chat that uh, you guys would be interested in seeing East four. And I think I don't remember exactly who was mentioning it, but somebody did mention that memories of Celsetta was a really fun experience. So maybe I will just go in order and I'll just play that one for the first time on stream. And I'll just do a first playthrough that way. And maybe we will just go and do East five and then work our way to East six. Um, and, and kind of just go from there. E7 was originally made for the PSP, but I did get it to finally work on my PC. So that's nice. I know that works now. But, um, okay, raid channel, la 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 la. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Um, if in a perfect world, so channel update here. Um, actually, we've got Monday off, so I might even just stream Monday just on a... Uh, since I have the day off, I might just goof off and, and play, uh, play a bunch of Fallout during the day on Monday, uh, which is very atypical for me. But uh, I think Sunday night, what we'll do is um, I'll play an East game, and hopefully between now and then, I'll have figured out what I'll actually uh, be playing for all that. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have any kind of preference, let me know by all means. In the meantime, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your weekend, and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow night for, for an ease of some variety. In the meantime, let's raid Kara and see how he's doing on the seas. Until next time, ciao!